So we're going to start. Um, before you begin, uh, I want to do a bit of a, an establishing scene here, Alice, if that's okay. Absolutely okay. Go ahead. Okay. So after the last session, um, you know, Default talked to Brynn and Isadora like, hey, I'm thinking mm -hmm. about doing this really dumb Knight's Tale thing that Isadora literally called her out on doing a Knight's Tale thing. And they basically talked her out of it. They said, this is dumb. It's bad. It's dumb and bad. Don't do it. Right? So Quinn's like, yeah, but I still want to make that, like, send that message to Coven and that this isn't about my ego. So how do I go about this? So she goes back to her room a little bit before the next mission. Is you know, they got a week before the, before the clanners arrive. And she's just sitting in her room ruminating on what Brynn and Isidore said to her about her idea to get her ass handed to her, et cetera, right? Um, and she's like, okay, fine, that won't work. Yeah, she believes, you know, Brynn and Isidora, that, 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 that won't work. It's bad, right? But something has to work, right? Something's got to get through to Covanon. So she decides, well, I'll just ask Svava, right? But, and this is like after a couple days of ruminating on it. But as she reaches for the console to call up Svava, a chat message leaps onto the screen from her Horus contact. Um, and it, Quinn accepts the message, and the text scrolls out. You got a moment? Kind of urgent. And Quinn responds, sure, what's the urgency? And the chat responds, you, look, I know I'm just some rando, but I've been watching your streams and something seems off. And Quinn's like, ah, shit, they noticed? Uh, how many other viewers have noticed? She's really off her game. And so she responds, I'm just going through some stuff. And the horse person responds, well, I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna stick with you, you know, and as you go through whatever this is, but I do miss the old gung-ho default. And Quinn frowns and responds, do you have any advice for me? And the horse person responds, well, I have to know what's going on to give advice. And, you know, Quinn responds, I'm questioning some things. The response back is vague, but okay. People always questioning, never going for it. You go for it. That's why I wanted to hook you up. And Quinn says, well, Brynn and Isadora say it's dumb. And the response is, what's a dumb idea? And Quinn says, losing on purpose. And response, wow, you're going to muck up your win rate? This must be a big thing. If it's big enough that you want to mess up your win rate, you should probably do it. And Quinn says, but Brynn and Isadora. And there's a moment of, like, pause in the chat and then immediately like a big wall of words comes up oh. right <laughs> of according to the website he's your commander and she's a pilot huh info says he's a washout Isadora's history is a mess too you gotta take the advice of some failed soldier and a recovering alcoholic i bet Isadora how has dare you <laughs> how dare you but it's not an alcoholic <laughs> I, I, I bet Isadora. i bet the other one I bet Isidora, <laughs> let, me, let me finish my burn from this NPC. I bet Isidora hasn't even had a GF. <laughs> and Quinn responds, and you're some kind of expert? Like, she's defensive, right? How dare you dunk on my mom and dad? <laughs> and the chorus person says, you could say that. I've been in the game a long time. And Quinn's like, all right, how can you be so sure it'll work? And the horse responds, I don't know what your desired outcome is, but I've been there, done that. And I like the results I got. It only cost me a mech. You can print those. And Quinn, like, looks resolved at that and says, so go for it. And the horse person responds, yeah, do it, and links the Shia LaBeouf, like, a green screen gif. <laughs> and um, Quinn is convinced and says, okay. And the horse person responds, badass. DFL's back. I have liked, subscribed, and rung the bell. And the chat closes. And... Can't believe you're listening to an internet rando over us. You are so grounded, young lady. <laughs> yeah. Default grins and preps and, pre and preps for the mission. She goes back and she pulls the the car cover off of the fisticuffs, you know, the Everest for this mission. Because she made her name in the Everest, right? She made her name in the fisticuffs. She built her entire platform off the antics she did in the fisticuffs. So the fisticuffs is the foundation of her brand, and as such, you know. Quinn thinks that by allowing the Fist of Cuffs to just get absolutely totaled in character, she'll be shouting, fuck my ego, at Covenon. So she's going to be going into this mission, right, in the Fist of Cuffs. And that's just what I wanted to establish. So now we can, we can begin. All right. So after Lyra sobered up, um, she explained a little bit more about how the clan trial of acceptance works and also explain why they're here lyra's family was sent into exile 
when she was literally just born, um, due to their due to her sept failing in combat because their mechs never arrived to fight, they claimed that the, that the, they were sabotaged, and to the best of her knowledge, she knows this to be true from the evidence they had with them, but she doesn't know who did it. Um, the rest of the clan did not believe this and cut off her entire sept and its various families, and that is what happened. Um, now, that does not exclude extend to their children, however, but she was supposed to go back to clan space and never actually did. So they brought her sort of coming of age to her. Um, she's pretty sure that she can get them to waive the death duel part, but it will mean that they get to, as a penalty, add more weight on their side of the field. Like like what? I mean, I am all for not dying. That that's a big positive in my book. <laughs> yeah, so it it will probably mean another really big mech, but she's pretty sure she can do that. Um, they sent the information, so you do know what you're facing. Their mechs have, um, and this is not how she would explain this, obviously, but I can tell you that all of their mechs have armor, and they all have weapons that are pretty good. Um, however, cleaners do not actually do a lot of electronic, electricity electronic warfare. Nobody does. They're not big on things they consider to be uh, asymmetrical warfare. So there's not a lot of uh, manipulating time, space, or do doing the kind of stunts with your heat. They are incredibly conventional in a way. Um, just very, very deadly. As the time gets closer, uh, Lyra does finish printing her mech, um, and it is put together as a big Barbarossa. What did she and... name her Barbarossa? Let me go find out exactly what name it. It is the Wolfstan, Wolfstan Amazing Custom. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfstan Amazing. Awesome. Char again. I love it. Oh. Um, <laughs> Look forward to the upcoming Wolfstan Amazing Ballistic in Season 2 of War Bad Robot Cool. Yep. <laughs> um, when the cleaners do arrive, they refuse to speak to anyone except for Bren, and they only communicate by s stating exactly where on the planet they would like to begin this battle. And by stating it, I mean they surround the Flavor Town with multiple warships. That jump dangerously close. Uh, Bryn responds to the hail and says, "We will meet you at the designated location at the designated time." And that's like literally it. He does not. He does not want to get a conversation with them. He doesn't want to accidentally like make someone angry. So he just does the most terse, like matter of fact response possible and ends the communication. Nice. Um, Lyra jumps in and spends about thirty minutes communicating with them. She does manage. To, she does succeed in getting them to change the rules where they not necessarily honor bound to slaughter you. In case you, if you get potted, they will. If you, if you have to bail out of your mech, they will not shoot your pot. Um, <laughs> they can point and laugh at you, however. They will they mock will you point incessantly. Left. Yeah, they will point that's, and laugh. That's fine. Bryn, Bryn does not care about his pride as long as he gets to live. <laughs> at the same time, um, as when when she was doing this. Um, she was asked why she had not come home, and she told them the story of this is what I was told by my family, which angered a specific member of the convocation who had come. His name is Tigranes, and when they were going to add a sixth mech on, he, he demanded the honor of Duke being that sixth mech, because this is ancient libel against his family, who were the ones that her sept originally accused of sabotaging their mechs. He will be on the planet, and he is not honor-bound to not kill Lyra specifically. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, we gotta take him out first. Mm-hmm. 
do you does anyone have any questions for her for Lyra and or that she can communicate to them before we move over? Well, is there anything else you want to tell us, friend, that we might want to know about this? Mm. Don't, Don't be shot. <laughs> Maybe once. You can do once. Don't do twice. Uh, uh, Lyra. I do my best. Lyra, um, we can't, like, interfere at all, right? So I can't, like, throw a shield no, over you. No, this is... We are all in this fight. No, but, no, like... It is, it okay. is a five on six. You can fight anyone you want to. Okay. Claire, she, oh, she does say... You, now, sometimes they will be of... They may try to challenge you to a fight. I cannot tell you not to. I can tell you they are probably more used to this than you. But uh, it might work. Um, Default grins really huge at that information. <laughs> For no reason. Don't, um, don't try to answer their thoughts. So they will only target you. They are very, very easy to anchor. Default just nods as if she has understood, but is not promising to not do that suspiciously. <laughs> Sylvia's <laughs> actually gonna like raise her hand as default's going on that and go like, so I'm guessing most of them have modded ejection seats as well then. She does get a little uncomfortable. Um, I've, it is not really our way to have those in the sense that not the, the ones you are used to that do it so automatically, but she looks directly at default. I did ask if they would. I cannot guarantee that they will, but I asked. I only ask because if we, you know, God willing, do take them down and somebody's neck explodes, did, does that make us, them honor bound, to have to kill us in order to win, or do the rules stay the same even if they take an accidental casualty? They stay the same either way. Oh, that takes a load off my mind. Is that the choice? Um, if, hypothetically speaking, um, I were to insult somebody's honor, would they also do what this person who's mad at you would do and come at me like hardcore? They are not supposed to. But if you go too far, then they would not be blamed very harshly. Thinking, thinking emoji face. <laughs> Default makes the thinking emoji face at that response and ruminates on that. I see. And Sylvie just raises her hand one more time. She goes, they're probably going to want to... Are you launching with the, uh, that big boy over there? That's the plan. All right. Um, you want to come back to the garage with me? I have something I want to talk to you about. Just whenever everyone's ready, if we have a chance. Okay, she'll do that. We on. have literally half an hour for have to leave because if we're not there on time, they will probably kill me. So. <laughs> yeah, we, they are inside. They are inside with it. Well, um, I already finished fine is, the Mac earlier, so I should. So what does? What does she have for uh, Lyra before they leave? Um, so do you want me to do this publicly, or do we want to keep it a surprise because there's a chance this would be a funny thing for everyone else to get hit with? Um, before I share it with you secretly or with everyone else. Yeah, just go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and um, I, it, it's what I think it is, right? It is what we talked about earlier. Okay. Yeah, we... Whatever way is the quickest way to do that. Um, whatever way is the quickest way to do that, so I just type that to you real fast? Yeah. And while you do that... Um, if nobody else has... If nobody else has any questions or for Lyra or for me as the DM, I will move you guys over. We're good. I think. All right. I think. I can't speak for everybody. Everybody's good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. Yeah, the only other thing I'd really need to explain about this encounter is I did a very poor job of We're explaining good. how the cover works on here, mm -hmm. so I don't have to explain it very quickly. I'm sorry. Okay, you land down on the site they've chosen is actually a frozen lake near the planet's poles. 
Um, oh no, that might be bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be bad for you. Uh, okay, stand, um, stand land. I was wondering if you realized that before the battle started. Um, there is cover here. It is not completely flat. The in totally encircled parts are raised, kind of raised plateaus. Um, anywhere inside of there is cover, as well as hiding behind it. If it's just a line, then hiding behind that line is basically like a ridge, and that will count as light cover as well. Okay. The record. Um, I'm using this. Nah, it's fine, guys. I'm using this fog right now. Um, when you do see Lyra launch with you guys, she is actually not in her Barbarossa that she spent the last several days getting used to. Um, she's actually in a Blackbeard. Nice. Which she shouldn't have the license for. Mm -hmm. Not worried about it. Doesn't but anything. apparently she does. Nice. You can just change light instead of the bow. Mm -hmm. All right. As I recall, um, you... There, usually it's whoever attacks first goes first, but I feel like it should probably be you guys that go first here. Yeah, actually, uh, play, the, yeah, play by rule is play with players go first. Unless yeah. you gave the oh no, yeah. it's it's iron call that the person who attacks first goes first. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Unless you gave an, an NPC move that lets them go first, uh, players always go first. Yep. Yeah. So right. that'll be you guys first. Yep. Who wants to go okay, first? Okay, so. Uh, would anybody mind me going first? Because I've got a bit of setup. Go for it. Uh, well, I'm okay with Do it. The I thing. Can, yeah. Do the thing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start this off with a protocol. Uh, prophetic interjection. Gain the tactical simulation reaction for the rest of the scene, which is basically once around as a reaction. An allied character in a line of sight takes damage from another character in a line of sight. And I roll 1d6, and on a plus 4, the attack was actually a simulation predicted by your processor. Your ally gains resistance to all damage dealt by the attack and may teleport up to three spaces, representing their true location. <laughs> uh, on three or less, there's a glitch. Your allied character doesn't gain resistance, but can teleport up to six spaces. Wow. Oh, God, they're going to hate that. I love this. Uh, that's so good. So that's just a protocol. So I believe that's free action to do that, right? I just mm -hmm. have to you do it. Yeah. Guys, yep. Okay, so I activate that. Uh, I'm going to go about here for cover. Mm -hmm. And I determined that I would give commands with quick action. So I'm going to tell Coriander to cover me, basically. So he'll be right here protecting me mainly mm -hmm. over anything else and making sure nobody gets close. Mm -hmm. Who knows how well that'll work out. <laughs> Default's just so happy to have a brother. And lastly, uh, I'm going to lock on... Uh, who Who do we feel like we're going to attack first? Blade Wolf over here? <laughs> One of these it, is literally, it is literally a giant rope with a sword in its mouth, Steve style. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to want to go after that guy first, so... I'm going to lock on to that one with my quick tech. Hold on a sec, let me just... Want me to put a little thing on him? Yeah, okay, so, if I remember... I put a little Kobioko on him. Nice. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, lock on. Uh, I think I have extra effects for it. Uh, first off, prophetic scanners. Uh, once around, when the Swallowtail inflicts lock on, its target becomes shredded until the end of the next turn. I'm gonna activate that, because this is my only lock on this round. So and, until the end of the round? Uh, till the end of their round, yeah. Roger. So until the end of their turn. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's about it. Yeah, oh. all my other stuff is when uh, lock-ons get consumed, so <gasps> yeah, I'm good. Unfortunately, I did move, so uh, integrated cloak doesn't activate, so oh. I'm kind of a sitting duck for once. Oh no. With only 16 evasion, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, do a move that the one of the rifle wolves is going to go forward to the edge of the ridge and is going to try to take a pot shot at Coriander. Rip! My my, my brother! <laughs> they 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 rightly see the weak link in this in this lineup. <laughs> All right. What is there? It's one difficulty because of cover, right? Because soft cover. Yeah. Yes. Yep. What's their base roll? Ah, wow, you're rolling good. So, right. does a 15 hit him? 
15. I actually have to check real quick because uh, I was down. I'm going to say probably. Let me pull him up to make sure. So uh, I have it. Oh, absolutely. It hits. Oh, Corian. yeah. <laughs> no. Um, he's, doing that with his, he's doing that with his rifle. Um, D6 plus two. <laughs> Let's roll that. Okay, it's just three. Mm. Ouch. Three damage. Ouch okay, still. do you have uh, um, Yes, okay. Then he is also, but he's also, uh, what's it called, barraging? All right. The other one, will that hit? Ooh. No, yeah. Jesus. Uh, roll oh, that no. difficulty. Hopefully it's at least a three. I mean, oh, that's an NPC, so who cares about critting? Well, some NPCs have moves that let them do things when they crit, even though they can't crit. They roll that twice, right? And they take the two highest? Oh, did you roll, um... Uh... Difficulty. Yeah, difficulty. difficulty. Oh, I did not. Um... Yeah, it might help. Yeah, oh, that will okay. knock it down. Okay, okay so, it's not a crit. so yeah, it should... It will be just nine, then. All right, dang. Oof, ow. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me of that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, Y'all start. Uh, I'll go. Mm. Yeah, all right. I have a feeling that when, this is the one fight for this. So I am going to hit my um, my uh, protocol and immediately gain three charges on my big gun. So mark down right here. Three. Um, oh, he's a four. So I, I start one. Um, ba -ba -bum. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me look at the layout here. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I get three of these guys in a line somehow? No, I can't. Uh, who's the one that's the guy that's pissed? The the extra guy. Is that this this is the here? one who specifically wants to murder Lyra. Okay. And also uh, maybe y'all. Then <laughs> I'm going to move uh, up to here. Right, I'm uh, right here. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to, um, as a protocol, I am going to um, stay my aim so I get uh, advantage and accuracy with rifles. And I'm going to barrage. I'm going to shoot the big cannon, and I'm going to shoot my laser rifle. Uh, I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start the big cannon uh, in a line that goes this this guy and this guy. These two, I can get them both. I just kind of yeah. There we go. So I'll roll one for each. Those would be the twenties, and I have actually on that. So plus uh, what's I get three. So the guy in front of me, 18. Nice. The guy in the back, a uh, 7. So oh. seven um, let I me make nerf. sure you miss him, actually. Well, actually, wait. Do you miss him? Because you did not add accuracy there. I don't have accuracy. It's not a rifle. Ah. Uh, you so actually barely managed to hit him. Oh, awesome. Okay. So I'll roll damage once. So that's 46. I did the big laser immediately. So that is 13 energy damage on both of them. All right, is that um, AP? Uh, no, it's not. All right. With my, did I just close my fucking... Okay. And I'm also going to... Um, the guy right in front... Actually, that, the guy in the back. I, I, actually, can I arrange... I might have to arrange that with my, my rifle here. Let's see. 10 hexes. Um, no, I can't hit him. I'll hit the guy in front of me then. I will shoot my main, my laser rifle at the guy in front. And this does it actually. Because I'm stabilizing. I mean, I'm doing my aim. So that is a, a crit. Perfect. Ooh, nice. This one right here? Yes, that one. All right. So that will be, um, the higher of these two D6s. So that is a six. Uh, energy and one burn. Nice. So seven total. All right. Um, oh, is that it for a crit? Uh, yeah, it's only a 1d6. So oh, I okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so many... And 
uh, one last thing. Uh, that I'm burn, going... that one burn damage is every that keeps going every turn, correct? It, unless he saves me, yeah. So he yeah. Uh, uh, he takes it now and he, he makes a uh, hull save at the end of his turn. Roger. Uh, and I get one heat for that. I am also Lord. going to overcharge. Oh, oh, oh shit! I can't click and shit. I get that. And I'm going to take another quick action. And I'm going to charge my uh, stasis bolt. And now I'm done. All right. He is not looking great. Um, take a move. I think. Let's see. How far can Sword Wolf go? <laughs> this is such a dumb character. <laughs> <laughs> Movement of five. Um, he is going to going to attempt to um, go for as he streams towards the Foxfire. Uh, Sorwolf is definitely issuing a direct challenge over the loudspeakers because he sees someone who has a sword. <laughs> <laughs> So he is like, it's a chain axe, you dumbass. And then it's your version has a NATO carpet sword. He goes rolling. like, <laughs> oh, so, sorry, one more thing I forgot. Uh, Sylvia, you get a leadership die for just wrecking someone. I, who gives a shit? Come on. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, what's his attack with us? Ah, it's too. Oh no, Ooh. Sword Wolf! <laughs> 21. That's good. Yeah, that's gonna hit. <laughs> I mean, it technically crits if Sword Wolf has, like, crit skills. That's gonna hit. Lara's looking at stuff, I guess. Or Dallas is looking at stuff. There you go. Okay, oof. That's it's 12. Ouch. 12? Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. It's not AP, if you're wondering. Uh, cool. So I will take 11, which is a yeah. lot. Ow. Nice. It hits you with, the sword it hits you with is actually um, superheated. And ah. it is actually has to take some heat to do it. Okay. And will not, it's not like, you know, it's not like burning with red or anything yet. So, so keep that in mind. I will mark. All right. It. Oh, also real quick, uh, removing burn is engineering, not hull. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Yup. Uh, yeah, I'd better go. Um, so, start of Sylvia's turn, I, I am going to use her core protocol, which is Tactical Cloak. I am invisible for the rest of the scene. Nice. So, anytime someone would make an attack on me, there's just a 50% chance they miss. How dishonorable. No, but you continue. <laughs> yup. On that note, uh, so we're gonna do some nonsense. Hell yeah. Uh, nonsense number one. We are going to... What are we gonna do here? We are going to... All right. I need to get away from this guy, because he's actually... I am better at fighting rangers than meleeers, so this guy has to get tripped up. So we're going to try and do that. So I am going to skirmish him with my chain axe. So I get to claim an accuracy dice on that because I'm a blade master. So 1d20 plus 3 plus 1d6. Let's see how badly I can roll today. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, definitely hit. Uh, all right, so... Then I'm going to roll damage on that. I have overpower caliber on that mount, so that's 2d6 damage. So, 9 damage, which is actually pretty great. Dang, nice. Um, and I'm going to use a pilot talent here, which is skirm uh, the second level of skirmisher. I have not used this before, but when I do that, whenever I skirmish, before or after doing so, I can move up to two spaces without promoting, uh, provoking reactions. Nice. Sylvia's going to move up here. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
And I'm just going to go ahead and have her boost. Nice. He lined up with that guy, so he will have difficulty shooting at anyone else because he's now in. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. All right, it's their turn. Oh, go ahead. No, that's all. It's their turn. That was turn. Yeah. So, big one on the left is actually going to advance. Good. I'm going to just do my bullshit in the middle of the combat, just so you know, Atlas, it'll be faster. That's one. Yes. They're surprisingly fast. Uh, he sees something else that is also kind of big. Mm-hmm. And excited. he's going to, he's going to try to shoot at it. I love it. I don't know if he's in range of his really stupid weapon. <laughs> He is, in fact, in range of his really good, stupid weapon. Good, 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 All right, good, hold good. on. You tar are you targeting her? Yes. Um, I would like to use, as reaction, Stasis Bolt. Um, as a quick action, um, I can make a contested range attack roll with the attacker. If I, see, if I beat them, the attack misses. Wow. Immediately. Dang. Okay, so this, this attack actually has unwieldy. Um, he, he actually has to suffer a, um, a penalty to it. Would that carry over to this? Um, I, yeah, I think, I think so. I think I'm just rolling against their attack. So just roll your attack normally, and I'll roll mine. Ooh. Uh, ten. Oh, damn! Oh my god. It's still one. Four versus three. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Oh, uh, well, my well, vision... Like, it misses. My, my... I mean, it misses anyways, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> my, my evasion is nine, but it misses, like, yeah, it misses anyway. Right. Okay, he tries to he tries to uh, skirmish with his really incredibly dumb. It's like a, if you had a shotgun that was made of cannons. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, Actually, I think this means I can do it after the roll, so I don't think I have to use that up right now. I should wait. <laughs> okay. So I just don't do it because, like, I think I just yeah. attack roll. Yeah, I'm pretty sure four is like a hit. Um, unfortunately, that is a like super heavy weapon. That's all he can do at the moment, mm -hmm. but he has failed the issue. Okay. Is there any, that's it? Yeah, somebody's turn. Does anybody want to go before me? Because if not, I'm going to go. Um, I think, I think everyone else has. Coriander has to go, but, you know, <laughs> Coriander can go whenever. Okay. Yeah. You can do your stuff. So, uh, um, Coriander's in the party. Yeah. I guess Lyra's in the party, too. I forgot yeah, about her. Yeah. Does Lyra want to go first? Um, I'm, I'm doing Lyra at the end of every round. Okay, sounds okay. good. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, Diopold's been streaming this whole time. I'm just going to take my turn. Uh, so she's a, a complete, like, deeply in character. Like, her entire mannerisms have changed. She's completely in default mode. So first she just opens up comms to you, Isadora, and asks, and she's on stream. People can hear this. Uh, hey, Isadora, um, if, uh, if, uh, if Coriander, like, is blown up, does Coriander die permanently? No, I've got Coriander backed up. Cool. Uh, second, hey, um, don't dishonor me. Stay out of this. And that's more to everybody. And don't spark our jewel, Joe No, bring the faith palms. And she'll charge up to the sky, and she's gonna announce to the stream, "Hey, how's it going, fans? You know all these good deeds I've been doing on camera make me feel really good, and I do want to keep doing them. But also, we're all here for some mech combat, ain't we? And we've got these clanners from I don't know the periphery, I guess. Uh, did you know Lyra was once a uh, clanner? Uh, yeah, apparently that's why we're here. Uh, she explains this stuff to me about honor and combat and all that, and the way clanners look at it, essentially, like, they nerf themselves to match their opponents, and so it's honorable, and they win on skill alone. And we all know I'm a bona fide badass, so I brought the fisticuffs again uh, to make this an even playing field as I can for these clowns. Let's get to it. She opens up her comps. Hey there, big bo guy, boy, girl, whatever, person. Um, I hear that you, uh, put an injection seat in your mech because you're a coward. Let's do this. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to break you. <laughs> I hear you. It just goes like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, child. I hear, I hear you still wear diapers in your baby. <laughs> a little, a little infant oh, in, a little infant in that neck. <laughs> who is this sassy lost child? Um, it's, it's literally. God, I need to find a picture of. It's literally. He is literally that one clanner from the Battletech cartoon that everyone hated. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna begin by doing my um my protocol. Uh, I'm gonna the one who looks like an '80s character. Yeah, I power up my I'm gonna power up my fuel injector for the rest of the scene. I get plus one accuracy on all attacks, checks, and saves. Additionally, once per turn, I can boost as a free action. That is my protocol in the Everest. So I have a grit. I have a plus three to bonus to attack. I now have a plus four to bonus to attack because of this, and I'm going to be swinging out at them with my big fist, which is a, a re like a reflavored uh, kinetic hammer. Uh, that might right. miss. Twelve. Twelve seems pretty good. Um, that's actually better than that. Oh um, yeah, I have. Accuracy I have, is one d six, not yeah, one. Yeah, oh, Jenner. Oh. Accuracy is one d six. Oh jeez. Oh, also I have so it's eleven plus a d six. Um, no, yeah. uh, uh, attack, wait, 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 um, okay, yeah, hold on. The Raleigh's thing is accuracy. It's a fist of cuffs, but yeah, but it's, yes. uh, so it's 12, 13, 14. The, uh, the Everest. Additionally, yeah. additionally, I have duelist, um, and when I, like, the first round when I attack with a melee, I get plus one accuracy on that as well. Yes, yeah, so that's so another let, D6, so, let so let me roll, roll the second D6, yeah. take the higher one, and take one off that roll, because it's plus two. So yeah, so the six, so that is, uh, so it's, it's 17. 17, yep, so she... I guess probably hammers in this guy unless they're really uh they're really really mobile, which I very very much doubt. Absolutely not! You incredibly overkilled this. Mm-hmm. So they are the easiest thing to hit in this encounter. So, so yes, he he takes <laughs> he takes six damage. Uh, Is it AP? Uh, it's not AP. Uh, he takes six damage as he's hit. Um and um. That's like she. Then, and then I'm just gonna follow up because this is a full assault, right? I'm gonna follow yeah. up. Barraging, yes. Yeah, I'm barraging. So I'm gonna follow up with a second attack from the small fist again. A one d twenty plus four, and then plus two d six. So I'm just gonna roll that one d twenty plus four plus two d six. Here we go. So that's uh, I guess a uh, plus three, Jenner. You only have three grid. No, no, no. I get plus four because I just uh, activated my protocol. Remember? No, that's that's <laughs> accuracy. Oh, okay, so, sorry, so it's, uh... You it's, hit him either way. I hit him either way. Okay, so again, this is... With a 13? Yeah, with the 13, it looks wait, like. No. Sorry, I'll, uh, I'll do that correctly. Sorry. 12, actually. Okay, yeah, so that it'll be, hits. So it's 1d6 plus 2. And she's continuing to taunt this this person as she hits this again with her small fist Ooh, for 7 nice. damage. And she's just continuing to, like... Call this dude a big bitch baby. And just like, all the all the uh, you, yeah. you're, you're playing Call of Duty right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> she's just full on like till he's a little baby. Look at that baby boy, a baby man, baby man getting beaten by a literal child. <laughs> I'm 16 years old. What's your I'm excuse? Not a baby. <laughs> and that'll be the end of Default's turn. Oh I'm not boy. A baby. <laughs> I did give them all. I did give them all a, a custom gift, which you're gonna have to see next round. Um, I think the other rifle. The other rifle wolf was original. No, I just probably should go. With, yeah, I don't know the rifle wolf. The other rifle wolf was actually going to join his friend because they get a bonus when they're nearby. <laughs> so he's going to attempt to move past you in the foxfire. Yep, starting move in range. That's a uh, triggers. That's gonna take a trigger though. Fucking shank him. We are overwatching. We are going to overwatch with... Yeah, I think at this point it has to be the chain axe because I get accuracy on that. And but I don't, because uh, it's only once per round. Yeah, I'll just overwatch with the nanocarbon sword because it does more damage and I can use up the leadership roll if I need the accuracy. Yes, you can. Yep. So roll 1d20 plus 3. Let's see how I do. Not bad. Uh, do I have to expend the accuracy to hit with that, or is that good? That will hit. All right, so here's what's going to happen. First, roll damage. <laughs> and that is going to be six damage. And then things are going to happen because I forgot to announce I picked up a Blade Master dice from hitting with a, a melee weapon last turn. Oh, yeah, I get so I'm going to expend. Too. I better put this on. Thank you for reminding me that I also have Blade Master dice. There we go. Yep. Yep. So I am going to expend a Blade Master dice and... What that's going to do is um, I can do that for a variety of things, and in this case, it's whenever I hit with an attack uh, with a melee weapon, I can immediately make a ram or a grapple attack as yes. a free action. So I am immediately going to ram this guy. <laughs> and that should have been first. I'm going to have to remember how ramming works. Uh, I knock him prone. Well, you push. Yeah, you, you really jubok it prone. 
You may also do knock them back in one space if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do there? not actually want to because I wanted to be stuck engaged in it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let's see. We'll see Sophie is essentially just gonna like sweep his leg with the sword. I will put a canceled sign because he is canceled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be careful saying cancelable things while I'm streaming. <laughs> um, so, so I mean, that would assume that is not not only can he not move, it's going to take his whole action to get up, correct? Yeah, to move if you move to get up, yeah, I think, right? Yeah, you have to use, you have to consume all of your movement action to get up, and I believe. Can you do that this turn? Uh, I mean, he didn't I, move yet, so I think so. I feel like he could. Yeah, I'm not sure how that actually works when well, you no, because I mean, someone while they are already moving. So he already moved and he lost it. So he's yeah. just fucked now. Yeah, he's just. I think he's just fucked for a turn. Okay, so I will remove that. He will get back up, but like, there's not much he could do. Uh, yeah. He does have a. He does have technically have a melee option, doesn't he? Um, I mean, you can shoot really. from close range. It just has difficulty. Just, yeah, he can just shoot at close range. He's going to attempt to shoot you at close range. Um, that would also trigger uh, Overwatch, but you had to use it. Yeah, um, I'm assuming that a two does not hit you. It very does not. Also, I am invisible. So, uh, he has to roll to even get a chance to hit me. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point, but... Yeah. 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 Um, he'll just go ahead and barrage with the with both weapons, because he can't do anything else. Well, roll a D, um, roll a D2, then. Roll a D2. Uh, Evens miss, odds hit. Sounds good. I, like, odds I, I, like, I, like that, I like that faster than the roll 20 that I... Or roll 100 I did last time we did this. I like that better. Thank you. Yeah, it means it's a it's a fits a chance. It's roll yeah. D2. So he's just... Then. It is PC's turn. Okay, Coriander. So, uh, I think at the moment the most dangerous enemy here is Blade Wolf, because Blade Wolf is right here and is melee. Uh, reaction, Coriander, little buddy. Fuck of that wolf. I believe oh in you. God. This thing is going to be, get fucking blown to smithereens. Okay, so, first and foremost, uh, of course, gonna use Heavy Assault, so that's Roll 20 plus 1. I'm giving it a leadership die if you need this. Because I, I believe in this AI. <laughs> so, that's yeah! a 15 on its own. Uh, actually, I think I get something special if I expend my uh, lock-on on this. Let me just check. So, uh, oh, no, that, they just may roll twice and choose either result. So, actually, I'm going to keep that lock-on because I don't need it. So, uh, that's just going to be a flat d6, I believe. All yeah, right. I don't have anything, uh... Yeah, I don't have any, uh, sort of alterations on that. And unlike when we fought them, uh, this one's not a, uh, weird, bizarre mech, so it does not have armor piercing. All right. It stumbles back. And slips on the ice a bit, but manages to stay up. It is a very sad wolf. <laughs> nobody want wolves. Nobody will sword fight with them. <laughs> Somebody sword fight with that wolf. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um, hmm. I mean, that's one attack. The other one is I also have a combat knife here. You can just uh, throw that knife. Threat one for kinetic. Ah! I think now I, I gave it the order to protect, so it is going to protect. It won't knife until <laughs> close. Mm -hmm. What's he gonna do with the quick action then? Uh, can you, can you do? Does he have? Any, does he have any tech? Like you can always do a tech attack. You could tech attack yeah, something. Yeah, or get just get a lock on or something. Yeah, do a lock on or something. Yeah, technically speaking, it is a uh, NHP, so I could just it, do that. It could scan, right. lock on, do like invade, you know, basic stuff like that. Bolster. All right, so. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to have Coriander just do a normal ass invade because it doesn't have the uh, fancy options. So. Mm -hmm. This is on the Sword of Wolf? Yes. So, invade, direct electronic attack. What is your... All right, your systems is one because, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, slash no. roll 
1d20 plus 1. Hey! 16. I'll be going to hit its energy to, or uh, electronic defense. defense. Yeah. 16. Yeah, that does. Nice. All right. So let's see. Invade option. Uh, on success, your target takes two heat and choose one invasion option. Uh, I'm going to say fragment signal. Yes, so they also become impaired and slowed. This poor Mac. <laughs> yes, he's, at, he's, he's saving higher now. How much heat has to have? Uh, let's just like put every uh, every status symbol on him by the end of uh, by the end of this encounter. Just like every every clickable like every clickable thing is on him. <laughs> I'll, I'll show oh I'll, sh I'll show the stream. We have this little button that lets us put like icons, and there's like a long list. Look how long this list is. Stream of how yeah, long. Yeah, most of the icons are funny. You're kind of crappy. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, but like, they don't only describe things you need. Yeah, but there's still so many of them, and like, so I'm just saying, like, by the end of this, let's just put all however many of these are on that on that wall. <laughs> Sorry, back to back to you guys. You friends. All right, and I'm going to end off there. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Um, Claytors don't like electric electrical tricks. Mm -hmm. So, it is the heavy pulse. I mean, he. I also. Oh, I did shoot Wolf a big laser, so I, he might care about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he does. <laughs> He's just very slow. Oh, you're just in a range. <laughs> um. He loved to see going, it. It is going to barrage. Um, it is one one rotary AC for both of you. Oh, it's a, so, it's a, it's a ray, not a. Uh, uh... No, it's uh, it's two separate attacks. Okay. Okay. I just had to make sure you're perfectly in range, Bryn. Cool. So this is the first one is for uh, Isadora. All right. It does not hit. Yeah, it's definitely not going to hit with an eleven. Um, second one is not going to get that difficulty. Difficulty, I do believe, and this one's on bread. Does a um, does a ten hit you? It will, but I'm gonna I'm gonna actually expend the uh, stasis bolt now that I to something to hit me and try to roll against that. All right, it does not hit me. I cancel it. I I, I basically like <laughs> blast the the attack out of the air. Nice. Hell yes. Also good because it does a lot of damage. Oh uh, well, it, it basically what it does is I hit it and the bullets just stop and I just like move out of the way <laughs> and then they go Amazing. again. Amazing! I love it. Neo, they're super pissed. <laughs> All right, um, who is not right. gone? Uh, Alice. You're the okay, one who's just like who hasn't gone. Yep. And Wolf over here. Yeah. Lyra is going to attempt to attack the heavy boss. With her stuff, I believe she has a plus three. We all have plus three health. She's gonna try to hit it with her with her big health cannon. That will hit. Yeah, twenty. Twenty's pretty good. Typically. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Dang. So that's five, five, three, three. So 11, 10, 11, 16? 11, 16. Yeah, yep. 16. Yes. It's fine. It's doing okay. You love to see it. All right. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the one that's on. All right. And it'll be Tigranis is the last one. Mm. Um, I shot him with a big ray. He may care. <laughs> oh, he, he does. Mobile. If he can reach you. Just barely. Okay, he's going to do one attack with Lyra and then one attack on Brand. Okay, I can't react this way anymore. That will hit Lyra. Uh, 15 will hit... A 14 hit Bren? Uh, yes, it will. Oof. Mm, All right. I should probably interject here, because I would be wasting it if I didn't. Um, hmm. What you got? Okay, so I guess who has less HP? Because basically... Probably uh, Bren. 
I mean, I have 13 actually, HP. Wait, real quick, uh, I can actually wait until uh, I see damage. Uh, so actually, right. yeah, I'll wait. Um, Lyra is going to take 10, and it's just five coming up, Ren. Yeah, it's been fine. It's fine. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm going to roll, let's see, 1d6. Let's see what goes, what happens. That's a four. On a four plus, the attack was actually a simulation. Your ally gains resistance to all damage dealt by the attack and may teleport up to three spaces, representing their true location. Right, you fool, Lyra wasn't out. there at all. So yeah, uh, that's ten damage halved, so five, right? Yeah. So that would have been a good for a second. What happened? <laughs> if Lyra was actually there, instead no. you hit that Lyra-shaped snow sculpture. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. <laughs> um, may I go? May I go first for the player's turn, please? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, everybody else is okay with that. Yes, fine. Yeah, I can All right. okay with that. I'm gonna do a tech attack on my um, my buddy here. I got no bonus to tech, but I I mean I, I do get grit to this, so it's plus three. Um, uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, no you grit don't to tech. Get okay. Grit tech attack. You just roll your whatever your bonus for tech attack. Are you, are you, are you doing an evade? I, I, you'll see. It depends on if I actually hit their e defense with that. Do I actually hit their e defense with that? I, that it's, uh, this one, right? Yep. That's actually literally its E defense number, so yes. Excellent. All right, so here's like right on top of it. Here's my quick tech. Uh, I announced to them, "Hey, buddy, it looks like you're having a really tough time hitting a 16 year old girl in combat." And I bolster them. It doesn't say allied mech; it says another character's systems. So they get a plus two oh, accuracy no. on their next skill check or save that they make between now and the end of the turn. And now I'm going to make a second tech attack against them. You can't do the same one. Uh, yeah, it's a, I'm making I'm making a full tech action, which allows you to make two tech attacks at the same time. Um, this is a scan. I'm gonna scan this person and find their personal history, and I'm going to leverage some deeply personal insults about like their like their their pedigree, etc. I'm gonna read the like I'm gonna read the receipts to this guy. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, kid! What are you doing? And Sylvia's just like getting over the fight. <laughs> You know what, Sylvia? I think just let it go. I think she has she's doing something on purpose here. So just let it let it A go. Slow hit. Yep, so I scan him, I pull up, you know, his whole profile, like everything about him, and I I just hurl out whatever, like just a deeply personal insults, like, you know, about How like, many does she get? Out of it, 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 it's very <laughs> So you don't have to roll for scan. Yeah. FYI. You it's, just do it. Yeah, extremely. Um, well, she does find out that, like, um, his old landsmates used to make fun of him because he started balding early, <laughs> and all their call signs for him always reference this fact. Oh, hey, cue ball. No, no wonder you can't hit me from the glint off your forehead. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm definitely using that gift now. <laughs> but I will, he will go next, actually. Yeah, he should. He gets a plus two accuracy to hit me. Wait, from your thing? Yep. <laughs> oh, Dia yeah. phone is trying to get blown up on purpose. Yep. Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, it's right, nice he's going to do an assault her. with um, both of his both of his actual weapon choices. Mm -hmm. um, wow, okay. You only get on one of them. Oh, just only get one? Oh, uh, just only get on one attack. Yeah. One roll. Yeah. Oh, just only get one roll? Yeah, it's only Plus one. Plus two yeah. Uh, next, next... Yeah, next skill check. Oh, no, check. no, hold on. Jenner, mm -hmm. bolster is a skill check or a save? Oh, it's, it's not, not It's not an attack. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, good, good. fuck. All right, darn. Oh, well, it's still he gets a, a skill check or a save. Dang it. I wish it was like a so better buff. if he buff. needs to. Yeah, if he whatever. needs to. Yeah. But, Jenner, come on. Oh, I didn't. I read it wrong. That wasn't on purpose. I read it wrong. Sorry. That was not on purpose. Still. She does, like, she's still buffing them and telling them you, you suck and you're pathetic and you're sad, right? Yeah, yeah you, 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 you must need help. Yeah, you must need help. <laughs> All right. It is their turn. He is going to attempt to attack you. Mm -hmm. First with um, his big fist, which mm -hmm. I call it big fist. Nice. We both um, have... We're so, we're so compatible. Uh, he is going to exhaust his little gift, um, his little, his little um, ability, which is when in a one-on-one -on -one duel... Uh, he gets a plus one to his damage, 
and a an accuracy to all of his rolls. Nice. Uh, I'm, attacks, I'm glad. As long as he is within two of the person he is doing. I love it. So, Big Fist first. Yes! Oh, come on. No, it's accuracy. No, it's so. just the accuracy? Okay, good. I thought yeah. it was... So, so it's 21. Still, it's a, it don't thought... need, why would you even roll that? There's no point. Yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. I just wanted to see. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me, oh, lay me out, lay me out with that lot. damage. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I want. This is this is kind of obscene, honestly. Obscene damage. There's a way to to sort them into in order. So that's that... four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen damage. 15 that's total. Thirteen 15 damage. damage. Thirteen. I mean, sorry, fifteen total. Okay, yeah. hold on. I have to count. Hold on. <laughs> I have to pull up a. I have to pull up a thing. Twenty-seven minus fifteen equals twelve. Okay, I'm at twelve now. You have twenty-seven HP. Oh yep. my god. <laughs> All that hole, I forget. Yeah. Like. Fucking comp con can't even keep track of it. Yeah, it, it rolls off the screen. It's so big. Oh, Jesus good. Yes. Christ. Yes. I, I want to. Okay. Incredible. So, even though you're rolling to hit, I want to narratively uh, just de like let people like inform people. Default is clearly visibly moving into these strikes and clearly intentionally getting hit. I'm <laughs> absolutely making sure that this is the yes. best roll yes. it could possibly be. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't have to look at this fist again. Okay, it's only plus one originally. Okay, so it's two. Uh, so that's gonna eight, be ten. Okay, ten. so she's at one HP. <laughs> Jesus. And it has structure. Come on, that it doesn't has, matter. Yeah, it hasn't had structure. She's fine. Okay, that that's 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 the end. This is hell. It's oh. y'all's turn again. Well, wait, wait, okay. wait, I'm, wait, wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. Gotcha. I have we wait, look. I need to do a little bit of narration. This is happening. You know. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Come in and watches these streams. <laughs> so Quinn is sitting in her office, and what the fuck is Quinn doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> so come in and calls her. Oh, hey stream, it's the Black Sheep Coven and calling me. I hope you're okay with a surprise guest commentator, and she answers the call. Hey Coven, and I didn't know you could call me. And she's coding her speak. Hi, I'm in character. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she grins cockily, talking to you. What are you doing in combat? And that'll be the end of that, but they'll keep talking, but next turn. <laughs> okay. All right, it is player's turn. Who's up? Bryn is going to move here. Uh, and as a quick action, I would like Wolf to make a uh, engineering save, please. Uh, target 13. Okay, what is your engineering? Uh, three. Oh, not, not new. I'm sorry, the, the brawl, the, the Tigantes, I mean. Oh, oh the Tigantes, okay. Um... He is actually all also oh. three. So just the flat D twenty. No bonuses. Oh it's no bonus? No, yeah. not even the engineering it's, bonus? It's just it save. Does he get his engineering bonus? Oh yeah, well he meant yeah. Okay. Sixteen? Ah dang, okay. Never mind then. Doesn't do anything. A, a weird bullet hits him and does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs it off. On the inner, over the intercom, because they just have their inner. It's, awesome. it's very All annoying. Right. Uh, well then, uh, I'm going to also uh, skirmish, and shoot him with the heavy mount uh, laser cannon. All right. This does, this does not get the accuracy. It's not. It's not a rifle that has a rifle in the name. I'm mad about. Oh god damn it! Oh, now you have the roll bats. <laughs> Actually, yes, because okay. he's in a brawler. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Is he a brawler or is he a heavy? I think they have the same. Oh, yeah, they have the same. Never mind. Here All right, go. so it takes uh, six, uh, three energy damage and three burn. Ooh, burn. All right. Okay. And, uh, and I'm going to uh, overwatch. I mean, I'm going to overcharge again. Let me roll a d3. That one heat. Okay, great. Three heat. Perfect. Um, this is fine. That's fine. I don't care. And I'm going to make him do another fucking uh, engineering thing. Engineering check. <laughs> Surely he I want this to. I want this to, to proc. Now he's on fire. Uh, same as before? Uh, yes. Come on, the roll. 
five. Yes. Excellent. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, on a fail, uh, they become stunned as they are locked in time until the end of their next turn. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot be affected by. They cannot be moved, targeted, or affected by anything. Nice. Who are you just throws them. shenanigans are bullshit. <laughs> this can only be activated on a, on a character once per scene. Okay, so cool. once it hits, that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I just right, I just put him in timeout. Yep, he's he's out for the round. <laughs> even, such the, a... even the flames are, are frozen in time. Even Bryn's such a dad. <laughs> <laughs> send him Please to tell his... me that he has an appropriate one liner for. Yeah, do you send him to his room without dinner? Yeah. Like, why don't you just uh just take a seat? <laughs> <laughs> Ch no, chill out. We're in an ice map. Yeah. <laughs> God. You no, know, you're getting a little hot. Maybe you should cool it a little. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn loves this. Um, is that your whole turn? That that's everything, yeah. All right. I think that the other rival wolf has realized that he's probably way more than uh, Coriander is. <laughs> so it is going to barrage at you. Uh, let's see. Right along. Yes. So rifle. First. Dang, 21. Nice. Oh, yeah. Alice, rolling, Alice rolling good. I'm happy to see it. And all these mo all these enemies crit. They do crit it's, stuff. It's, they roll. It's, um, it's AC. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that hits. When I gave them plus two to, to attack bonus, I did not expect them to roll only 15 or above. For the record. <laughs> Let's see. Now you know how I felt during the blue I know, corner. I do know how you felt. I'm a little worried. <laughs> so his rifle is going to do seven. Okay. I've got a and one. And mm. it's rotary. Should I? This will not be high. Should I use okay. my... Uh... You cannot stop taking structure. It does not matter. Well, um. I know, but I can at least, like... If I... Uh, just give you resistance to that one. Uh, like, do you think that would help enough, or no? No, it wouldn't. It's going to be 14 total. How All right. You're fine taking structure, then. Let me I'll roll my that. d6. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's the structure rolls that I'm most scared of, by the way, because I could roll a your mech blows up and ruin this entire scene, and I'll be so upset if that happens. I The dice better not fuck me. All right. Power my mech out torn off. Let me roll d6. <laughs> a three. So that is a amount. Shit. <laughs> um, I'm going to lose my heavy mount. Okay. Dang. XT, you said these guys have armor. Do I can't? Do I get a thing about how much armor? Uh, wait. What? You they said have these armor, are yes. armored. Have I kind of have I kind of noticed how much? I think you um, need to scan for that. Yeah. That's yeah. That's that's something we if have to find out. Me, you can either have to scan for it. Nah, I'm, I'm losing heavy mount. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Purpose. If you had fired on, uh, if you all had fired on the rifle, I might consider like an argument for one of your like skills, maybe. But nah, it's fine. Okay, that is my. Uh, I'm hit. I'm at seven HP. One three structure. Whatever it doesn't matter. All right. Oh wait, I did. I'm surprised you didn't brace there. Uh, burn for that. Last guy. thing, yes, roll an engineering save. It's and my target. Their engineering is not nearly as good. Come on, the roll. 11. Yeah, it fails. So he takes one burn damage. He still has that one second burn on him. Yup. Well, wait, one, one burn damage and then what? It, it's one burn, and then the burn persists. It's still affecting him. Okay, yeah. It's, it's I was like, wait, does it keep, does it like stack? It does not double. We, we okay. figured that out. It does not stack. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. about to be very, very surprised. All right, it is uh, player's turn. Okay, um, uh, should I go, or should Sylvia go? Um, depends. Do, uh, what do you, what do you want to do with your move? Uh, so let's see. Actually, first question, can you have more than one protocol on at once? Yeah, they just, you just do protocols. Yeah. Okay, you, just, um, you, can many, you can do as many as you want in a round, as long as they don't take up all your actions. Yeah, um... Let's see, I could either do that, or I could use a full tech. Um, I think Marker Light might actually be pretty helpful, because... Um, Marker Light might be. Uh, also, you if you could do anything to 
Who's acted already from the enemy team? Just the... Uh, Rifle Wolf 1 and um, the Temperamental yeah. Roar. Yeah. And so if guy, you could get him. either that guy or that guy... This guy's actually impaired, so he's not doing great. If you could do anything to make that guy up in the corner significantly less effective, the guy up next to me is going to be rolling at difficulty, so okay, um... he's probably not that much of a threat, and... I can just spend my turn wailing on him to try and knock him out. Okay, so let me see. Uh... <clears throat> hmm. Okay, uh, these guys have been getting two attacks, right? Yeah, they, um, they, can, they can barrage yeah. like a player. Okay. I think I'm going to attack this guy and use Shrike Code so he takes two heat whenever he attacks. Nice. Nice. Okay, so, uh, that's a quick tech, so let me roll <gasps> 1d20 plus 4. Alright, come on, good rolls. 13, does 13 hit his e-defense? Oh, absolutely. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Uh, initial invade, he takes two heats, and then he also takes the, uh, marker lights thing, so basically... Uh, he takes another two heat whenever he attacks mm -hmm. until the end of his next turn. Oh, put a, well, I can't put marks on him. I can't click him. You might want to like put a little fire on him to remember that. And in addition, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. uh, two, three, five. Yeah, that, that, he's easily in my range. Um, skirmish is both weapons on him out, right? Skirmish, yeah, uh, skirmish is a mount. So yeah, you fire one mount. So, uh, I'm actually going to, for once, use my auxiliary mount. So, let's see, that's got the Oracle LMG-1 and the Nexus Light. So, let's start with the uh, Oracle. It's a rifle, but it's accurate and has arcing on it. So, I'm, I guess, lobbing a bullet at him. <laughs> smart bullets. I got those now. They're great. Roll one... D20 plus three. Uh, that's a six. That's not great. What's the accuracy going to be? That's only going to be a seven. That is not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to add anything to that. However, I also have the Nexus. So nobody's used a Nexus weapon yet. Nexus weapons have the smart tag, which means instead of going after the uh, evasion of a target, it goes after the E-defense of the target. So, slash roll, 1d20 plus 3, does 12 that does. hit defense. Okay, so, that is 1d3 damage. Not great, but hey, I hit him with a nexus. D3, so that's 2 damage. Think. All right. And I think that's just about it, but uh, since I ended my turn without uh, moving, that means that I am now invisible. And it actually start actually it lasts until I take a reaction or the start of its next turn. So, yeah, either I will help somebody with prophetic interjection or I'm just good. <laughs> Even getting attacked won't make it disappear. Uh, I think actually it's gonna be the uh, sword wolf. Can he hit? Can he reach anyone? He is slowed now, so he has half movement, right? Mm -hmm. No, that's only just that he can't boost, right? Uh, let's see. What did I give him again? At least it's a uh, movement is halved. It's, it no, slip. slowed is you cannot boost. Oh, so you can't have boost, it. They're going to make the standard move on their own turn. They can't do, like, extra moves from other shit. Okay. Or All right, it's going to attempt to move towards Bryn. Cool, I need great. to see if Lyra has can overwatch him, actually. Uh, yes, he has any two-threat stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I only have uh, one threat on Coriander's combat knife, so I got nothing. Let's 
none of these weapons say threat, so I think their threat's just like one. Right? Yeah, it's one that doesn't say anything. Darn, she cannot. Is going to attempt to hit Bryn with its very large sword. Oh no. And it is. You're looking, you're looking for a nine. And you had a lock on it, okay. That's a lock on them, it doesn't affect you. Yep. Oh, nice. oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is up with you? Why are you only getting crits? I don't know. It's crit city. Is there a button in here that turns it all? Uh, as a as a reminder, I believe that fox is a, the the wolf is impaired, so it does get difficulty on that. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I was yeah. I was wondering what. Yeah, I thought it. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't crit. So nope. though. <laughs> it's fifteen. All right. It does. Does fifteen hit you? Yes, my my evasion is nine. Well, it's a big fuck off sword, dude. The glory bound sword. Um, it probably does destruction damage to me. I have seventy spear right now. It might. Six. Oh, uh, cool. I got it one will HP also again. take a heat and bestow a heat. How? Oh, oh, oh a heat. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm already in the danger zone. Brent's gonna have to <laughs> what is gonna... that? What is that wolf ass? It's taking a lot of heat on. Mm -hmm. Is it in the danger zone? Maybe. I think the flame symbol means that yes, it's in danger mm -hmm. zone. Um, oh. That will actually push it into the danger. Oh jeez. <laughs> Brent's gonna the flame would just mark and it had some heat. Yeah, Brent's... I need to figure out how to do the aura again. Brent's gonna melt through the fucking ice. <laughs> yeah, like... actually, it is time to actually do something. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, no. Wow, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Let's see what would be the proper thing here. Um, it's fine. I'll just be slowed if I'm underwater. Can you make? Can you make me an agility check? It will also have to make an agility an, check. An agility save. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes, agility save. So I add my agility thing to that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It will also have to make one. It is actually pretty good at agility. Thirteen. Okay, you are fine. Is it fine? It needs a 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, isn't oh, it wow. impaired? Oh, that's it, right. It has difficulty on it. I mean, it's, Although I guess it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it high. would not matter. Well, yeah, it would not matter. Are you just rolling uh, a night? <laughs> only 19 on this die. What is going on? Nothing below um, 10 on this dice. So neither of you go through the ice. Uh, the ice beneath you does start to give away. Um, if you do not move next turn, you will have to take this. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't matter for me because I've got just eternal Eva on me mm -hmm. all day, every day. If you, go the, if you go through the ice, you will be in pain mm -hmm. and count as prone. And, um, and, and if that... you don't have jump jets or something, you're just going to start sinking to the bottom of this lake, however deep yeah, this if is. You, <laughs> if you don't have some kind of way to get out of there with jump jets or Eva or something. Just shoot up through the ice then. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, just go through the ice, whatever. All right, it's player's turn. All right, I think Sylvia should probably go next. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do that. So start things off. I think we're gonna barrage. Actually, do I want to barrage or do I want to uh, skirmish and get in front? Before you go, let me remind you that your leisure die can also add or subtract a d6 to a damage roll, either against you or that you did, if you want to use it. Oh, that. thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah. I, I keep um, forgetting. All right. Yeah. Does Coriander still has his, have his uh, leadership die from earlier? Yes. Everyone okay. who I've given one to has not used it yet. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to... I guess I'm just going to beat the crap out of this uh, rifleman. So we're going to start with the uh, chain axe. Uh, it is going to be a barrage action, so we're going to use the chain axe, and we're going to follow it with the uh, nanocarbon sword. So 1d20 plus 3 plus 1d6, so that is going to be... Ooh, that's bad. It's a 7 hit. Um, 7? I don't believe so, but let me look. It does not. It misses by a little bit. You, you might want to use that leadership. I would I use that leadership. Too. Yeah, I guess I have to. Uh, see how I do. So that makes oh, yeah, sense. definitely. Oh, yeah, that's 12. a 10 now. Good. Super yeah. good. All right, so 
first thing first uh remember to actually state that i gain master dice and then roll the damage so overpower caliber triggers it's a new round uh sad uh so only three damage um what is going to happen is i'm going to expend that blade master dice to immediately make a grapple attack as a free action that's a 60, a 60 hit <laughs> yep so this guy is now grappled uh so let me just refresh myself on how grappling works do so we grab hold of the same target both of us are engaged neither of us can boost or take reactions for the duration of the grapple uh the smaller character becomes immobilized but moves when the larger party moves uh fun fact this guy's technically smaller than me i always count as one size larger when i'm ramming and yep. grappling <laughs> by the same size as my friends um do 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 and yeah so let's see here and sylvia's going to while she's got this guy like basically her mech has four arms she's grabbing him and like forcing his rifles down with two and then the other two are going to grab her nanocarbon sword and just beat him over the head with it uh and i actually get accuracy on that because um i have brawler and brawler says i get a d6 when i attack um grappled targets so does a 10 hit uh 10 i think it does yes it does <laughs> all right so nine damage dang let's roll for two okay yeah that's gonna happen <laughs> All right, and I think we are going to I'll just go ahead and overcharge this guy. I haven't taken any heat yet. Got it. Mm. Actually, this 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 guy's probably not in. A, we're not in a rush to kill him because I've got him tied up, and you everyone else is kind of tied up as oh, well. Did. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I think I'll just end my turn there and save that for later if I need to. All right, it's their turn. Um, can Tigranis be unpaused? Uh, at the end of his turn, he becomes unpaused. All right. And then at the end of his turn, he makes an engineering save he, about oh, the burn. <laughs> he will make the engineering save. Um, uh, target 13. Ooh, let's see. Is, wait, let me look at his look. His engineering is okay. Well, he'll probably roll a crit, so I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> no, no he, he does not. He takes three burn, which ignores armor, and he still has three stacks of burn on him. Yup. He is not happy. <laughs> For him, no time pass at all. <laughs> Suddenly, his mech is just more on fire, and everybody is somewhere else. This is obviously sorceries. <laughs> um, it is now play this player's turn. All right, Corey. Yep, Coriander. <laughs> Sorry, what were we going to say? I was just going to ask who was next. Yeah. Okay, so Coriander, once again, going to do a heavy assault rifle. So that is slash roll d20 plus, I think, one. And I have, I've got that lock on banked, but uh, since Blade Wolf's turn ended, uh, that slowed and impaired is gone for now. Uh, oof, seven's not great, so I'm gonna expend a lock on. Hopefully, this is better. Does a ten hit? Does a uh, is this Blade Wolf? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that wait ten. Oh, let me see. I think it does. Yes, it barely does. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be uh, six damage then, and I don't think I have anything. Yeah. Use okay, laser die. Get FD six. What is its armor? If you want? Um, I mean, I don't roll for the damage, so. But you get you can get an XD six on that with the leadership die I gave you if you will. Mm -hmm. I will need I will I will need to know because it might be relevant. Okay, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's roll another D six for damage. Oh, that's only one. So that was how just... much damage is the total? Seven damage total. 
that's actually what you needed. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jeff. Yeah, literally all that. That's all you. Uh. Coriander just takes aim, and despite being just a simple AI, it echoes back to Bryn telling it to just fuck him up, and it aims true. I believed in you, and I my belief was was, was rewarded. <laughs> The sword wolf, uh, the sword wolf goes down. It's um, there is a large explosion. Sad howl. It goes oh, sad it does. mournfully. The mournful, <laughs> sad dark souls see dying. <laughs> Awu. Um, there does not seem you do not ori originally see a like a ejector seat until you do. It didn't eject upwards. It ejects sideways. <laughs> Just skidding across the ice into the snow drift, uh, face first. Oh god, but he is alive. <laughs> the mech just exploded and was hot anyway, so it's just gonna melt through this ice. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, gone. it's gone. This this is now a this is now like an. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that, that's a, there's a hole in that ice now where that that mech is. Yes, ha right. that's hazardous Perfect. terrain there. Amazing. Good good, uh, good attack. Uh, I guess since I still have a quick attack left. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see what's got for, hmm. I'm going to say invade fragment signal. So, next closest enemy is this guy right here. So, let's make a attack against, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. One, two, it's tech attack. 20 plus 1, 6. Probably doesn't hit the defensive, uh, this dude. Their defense is not great, but... No, it does not. Yep, can't win them all. <laughs> Alright, and, uh, I think that's just about it. Alright, um... The Heavy Arms is gonna, is going to barrage, uh, dire, the, uh, Dire Wolf. Mm -hmm. That's not really a Dire Wolf. Mm -hmm. Alright. This guy, right? The uh, top one. Yeah. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's going to take four heat because he's doing two things. Yep. Jesus, does that put him in the? Where is he? Here. Yikes. He's fine right now. He would not be fine later. <laughs> um, is it worth it? Let's see. Uh, that one was worth it. Uh, yeah. That one was also worth it. <laughs> 14. Uh, the 19th ni ni intensify. <laughs> it would feel better. I have officially self. <laughs> I forget. Did I hit that one with anything else other than just, uh, I think that one was just trite code, so that wouldn't have been anything too fancy. Yeah, okay. First AC, and then it was just going to be a 14... And then the second one is going to be an eight. So that's going to be 22. Do you want uh, that damage? <laughs> I will sacrifice my invisibility for you for a chance to not take that much damage. It's up to you. She has 18. Wait, hold on. She actually, she, yeah, she'll still be two over. Uh, it would still help you in the long run to have yeah. that. So yeah. I'm. I've got good evasion. I'll I'll give it a chance. All right, so rolling a d6. That's a six. So yeah, uh, take uh, resistance to all damage, and then teleport up to three spaces. <laughs> it's still not looking great. <laughs> she's not. She's she could be doing a lot better. She is going to actually thank you by being directly in the line of fire between you and. Nice. So you now have like super heavy cover. You know, two things, two observations. Combat goes really, really weird when Default isn't being a team player, and when Alice rolls really, really good. <laughs> all right, and who has who has not gone on y'all side? I think we've all gone. I right? think everybody's gone now. That, that's yeah, the only thing that's not right? gone. The only thing that's not gone is the is the rifle wolf too gone. The rifle wolf in front of Sylvia, and then Lyra. Yeah. Are the last two to act. Okay. Um, the rival wolf two is going to attempt. Is it going to try to break that grapple? Mm -hmm. um, I assume it does contested roll of some sort. But it's just a whole check to break the grapple. It's, 
Yeah, it is. Um, yep, succeeding on a contested hole check is a quick action. So we and whoever gets higher is the uh, the winner of the contested check. Oh, wonderful! It's kind of mediocre at that. So I get plus three to hull, so I'll roll that. <laughs> well, that's a four. So that is a quick action, so it does spend half its turn breaking that grapple. Grapple is broken. <laughs> this is a 19s only zone. Default shouldn't even be here. She's 16. I got 19s up in this like I'm Stephen King. <laughs> All right, so it's moving. Yeah, it's going to attempt to move. Overwatch. To, yeah, <laughs> Overwatch the shit out of this thing. It's going to try to get over its buddy. Yeah, Only ability um, is yeah, activated when it's as, next to its as friend. As it begins to move, so it's still in its original position. Yeah. <laughs> um, Overwatch. We are going to this poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Overwatch with the chain axe because even though I do not get the accuracy. A second attack for Duelist, that is also something that gives me a Blade Master dice, and I kind of want to trip it. Do it. All right. Does a 15 hit? Oh, definitely oh. hits. So 1d6 damage. So it takes five, and then I'm immediately going to ram it as a free action. Okay. Does a 12 hit? Uh, that one I'm not sure about. Does a 12 hit? Rifle. Yeah, it does. <laughs> does it take damage for the ram? It does not. It just goes prone. Oh my god. <laughs> this poor stupid bastard. He didn't even get to fight. He's just careful. You just push him over and he slips on the ice. I'm, I'm just canceling him. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Putting a sad, crying eye on him because he's sad. <laughs> um, Lyra is going to attempt to um, duel with Tigranes. That will hit, and that will hit. And 13 and 15. I know, I'm sorry, the second one she shouldn't have done. She just did the first one. Mm -hmm. uh. I forgot how our thing worked. Uh... Oh, she's gonna do 18. And that is the bottom of the round. However, there is a surprise. Oh no. I don't like surprises in this context. Out of the corner of your eye, you see interlopers. No! They're gonna... Interlopers, that's just the word. They're gonna mess up my duel. Oh boy. Oh. Or rather, it's you see coming. one interloper in what looks to be a very customized mech um, who announces on a type in frequency to all the Hex Girls and only the Hex Girls that he, in a voice straight out of a uh, 30s noir um, setting. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm only here for the rest of you. I'm not here for you. I'm only here for the game. She knows what she did. She knows who she's killed. If you don't mess with me, I won't mess with you. Nothing about your life. <laughs> um, Sylvia so is just going to, like, check back to that frequency and go, like, could you wait until our business here is finished? I'll I'm be all, happy to kick your ass afterward. I'm all about business. And he shuts off the feed. <laughs> Welcome to the point. The private eye is here. Top of the round. Uh, oh my God. May, may I go first again? Yes. Uh, everybody else okay with that? Uh, I'm sitting pretty for now, so... I want to uh, go, but that's fine. You can so go. one thing I want to establish as co-GM is all of you, everybody on this map, you're becoming aware of a weird supernatural pressure that's just on the edge of your senses that has been here this entire combat. Okay. That's all. Also... Yeah, just keep going. I'm sorry, never mind. <laughs> um, so, at start of uh, Default's turn, we're gonna do my usual shenanigans. Um, 
Once per round before rolling an attack with a cannon, and I'm about to roll an attack with a cannon, all characters adjacent to me, that's this asshole, need to make a whole save or be knocked back one space and knocked prone. Doesn't that also damage to, like, structure? Like only, structures? only if I choose to. I'm not choosing to this time. It's uh, two moves. I can, as a quick action, also fire a jackhammer around and do all that bullshit, and usually I do pair these two together, but this time I am not, because... What if you just, like, broke the ice underneath the guy? I got... Don't worry. I, I know what I'm doing, but thank you. Um, also, she's trying to lose, and would that not win? Anyway, so once per round, I'm uh, gonna push this guy, make a whole save. My, my save target is 13, so a whole save from this dude, please. Uh, right, uh, uh, the, uh, the temperamental one? Mm-hmm. He is actually pretty good at that. You know, cue ball. <laughs> what was that? Uh, yeah, he is actually pretty good. Good. Uh, they don't make it. Uh, he's, so he is pushed back and knocked prone. Uh, go ahead and move him back wherever you want and knock him prone. And default will make fun of him for getting pushed back and knocked prone by a girl. Might not. And then shoot him with her cannon. Uh, she might not. Uh, some th that pressure intensifies. I have given you a leash of die, remember? Oh, never mind then. That pressure does not intensify. Well, <laughs> you'd have to. Oh, well. Uh, wait. That's yeah, that's a 12. A 12 probably hits. <laughs> yeah, 12 does hit. Uh, okay. So uh, he will take. Um, oh, in the I I will as a free act. I will spin the cannon. Not that that matters, but uh, I will. T he takes one d six plus two damage. Ex yeah, yeah, one d six plus two damage. Here we go. And again, she's making fun of him for getting knocked over by a by a sixteen year old girl. Um, and. That's Damage. That's six damage to him from from That's the six, six, yeah six, yeah, oh. yeah devil. Uh, you know what that pressure did intensify that weird pressure. <laughs> Are did... you a new type? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a new type, we have to have a discussion about this. Amaro, I can hear you across the stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the I can't believe Lala's fucking dead. And, I mean, you know. And 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 the the conversation will continue, Beth. So, um, default response, huh? Oh, uh, I, you know, I don't think there's a term for this. I may have to invent one. This is basically the opposite of smurfing or twinking. What? Default? I don't understand. And and she's speaking in code. Are you trying to introduce a common context? Is this a gamer thing? I am not a gamer. I'm and, a gamer. <laughs> yeah. Default responds, smurfing is when an experienced player, that's me, and then she shoots him and knocks him down. It plays against an inexperienced player, that's this clanner, and then she makes fun of him by abusing the matchmaking system. Twinking is when low-level players, that's this clanner, gear themselves up with shit they shouldn't have access to to fight with other low-level players, I'm not that, with the intention of dominating the game. Uh, there's no meta error here, she's just explaining the terms. Uh, on the camera, Kovan and blinks because she does pick up on a common context. She thinks Diafold is trying to communicate with her, so she repeats incredulously. Matchmaking? Like, this is like, are you attempting to romance me? And that'll be the end of, uh... At the end of Default's turn. Like, I'm just going to pass my second turn after knocking this guy down. Just get a lock on someone for us. Oh, I'll put please. a lock. Okay, I'll put a lock on on somebody, maybe, if my tech attack is good. Who would you like me to lock it's on no, to? There's no roll. You just get it within sensory. Right, I pick will. Someone. Who would you Point like? To that, man. that guy? Okay, I'll I'll put a lock on on the rifle wolf as just like a thing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you might want to stay next to me. Yeah, because anyone will mm -hmm. be very I'm good. I apologize that the name plates were not visible before. Actually, actually, let me see what stabilize does. Like, does it take a full turn? <laughs> okay, so you, have, you have to stabilize as a full action. Okay, so yeah, I can't do that. Never mind then. Yep, so that's it. That'll be the end of my turn. So that was a, uh, I guess, a, I guess it was just an activate. I just activated an ability and then did a skirmish. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. All right, that's the end of my turn. All right, back to you. All right, the oh. rifle, the, oh. Oh, that move, yeah, that move pushes me forward, uh, or pushes me a uh, movement, so I'll just slide right back up into melee with him. Sorry, that's all. Just pushing him around, so yep. mean. I'm just pushing him around and making fun of him. <laughs> uh, the rifle wolf is going to try and... 
I think his rifle is to try to hit Isidora for All right, well, good luck. Good yeah. news is, for you, I'm not invisible. And also, you'll probably crit, if we're being honest here. There's stuff oh, God. No, you ever had the cover. Yeah, so. he, there is cover. Seven. That's <laughs> not going to hit you no matter what. Hey, roll the disadvantage, though. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he's like a two. Um, and his other his other weapon is going to be the... Uh, that was the AC. I'm going to see what the rifle does. Fifteen? Nope. Does not. It does really. Yeah, so he's really a 14, so neither. Uh, yep. He's going to take the heat. Um, that's an, it's a, uh engineering save? Uh, yes, engineering save. Uh, yeah, 13. they are mediocre at that. There. Apparently they're not. Oh, yep. So he does not take it and he clears it off. Apparently they're just gods. Plus two is not terrible for a roll. It's a solid, like, 50% chance to pass Yeah. That. Like, 48% or something. All right, that's the third. Yep. Is he gonna move to his, um, his friend? <laughs> he would actually. That would actually benefit him because I don't think anybody can counter. Yeah, actually, I think he is gonna go back. <laughs> uh, actually, one um, yeah, actually, that activates some. Um, my cannon is out. That activates oh an Overwatch from me. Oh my god! Do it. Do <laughs> and it. and it's spinning, so I'm gonna overkill this guy. I'm gonna activate <laughs> overkill. That I will take if one heat. If anything goes wrong, he does have lock on. Yeah, I'm. Remember. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take one heat. It gains reliable plus. It gains reliable free. And if I and now I'm rolling um three d six plus two. And if I roll once, I re-roll once and keep accruing heat. But first, I have to hit. That pressure intensifies. All right. Let's see. Roll, roll. Hold 11. on. Eleven. I think that hits. It might hit just in case. All right. It's now a twelve. That will hit. Okay. Actually, hold on. Before I do it, does he still have his cover save he's moving? Oh, I yeah. Feel actually, like... it's sort of weirdly in the line, huh? I was... I feel you're... like since you're shooting past this, you probably get, I think, the difficulty. Yeah. Okay. So All right, we'll cancel, out that, cancel out that 1d6. Does an 11 still hit them? Um, oh, yeah, because they'll cancel out. Yeah, 11. Okay. So this is 3d6. Uh, uh, no, sorry. It's, it's 2 No, it is 3d6. That's what it says. I'd overkill. 3d6. Uh, plus one. And, oh, so take 16 <laughs> damage, and I take one heat. As she, <laughs> she overwatches this cannon. Bow! <laughs> Just pops him with the assault cannon. <laughs> um, as he attempts to fall back, you just catch him mid step. Shred! <laughs> and just shred through, like, shred through the entire, like, left side of this mech DFL, and so there's basically nothing left dfl is completely in character remember how the fisticuffs can do a spinny she does a 360 no scope on this guy doesn't even look at him Pfft, he's gone <laughs> um he does not eject beforehand but a pilot does crawl out of the mech and scurry into the <laughs> shelter of the sotrefs he did like like lip basically lips away <laughs> Because you overkilled him by 11. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Wow. So she he did. Just <laughs> finger gunned at him and just <laughs> destroyed him. No, she 360 no scoped him. Like, literally, she can spin her entire mech's torso around in a circle. So that's what she did. And then shine with a cannon. <laughs> also, after this, um, the mech does catch on fire. This is now a spot that the <laughs> ice is broken. <laughs> it is player's turn. Uh, can I go? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Me. I'm gonna move to here to get out of that spot. There's a hole there now, probably. Yep. Yep. Um. All right. Uh, I am first because I, I want to barrage, but I also want to stabilize. So I'm first going to Overwatch. I mean, Overwatch. Um, I'm going to overcharge. Mhm. Mm it's fine. I, I have six rainy heat and things, so it cannot make me burn up. Oh dear. Okay, I won. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, as a quick action, I'm going to stabilize and use two repairs to heal my HP. Uh, let me do that. Uh, yep. Well, oh, one, one repair. Cool. Yeah, one repair. Cancel. Uh, so, let me do that. Because I had one HP, which I need. Uh, and now I'm going to uh, use uh, City of My Aim and Barrage. All right, what you hitting? 
Uh, I am hitting the guy at the very top, uh, this guy, Heavy Paws. All right. Okay, so all Good of these get accuracy, arms. and my Orca Revas get double accuracy. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. Here we so, go. Let me start with one of the Orca So I want to hit this first one. Mm-hmm. So d20 plus three. Oh, God damn it. Um, re-roll that. Like, completely? Yep. Let me roll my actually first. I might, okay. I might still hit. Uh, so it'd be a, um, 11. Um, 11, that will hit. Okay, okay. then never mind. So on, on this one, it is, uh, 1d3 energy damage. Mm hmm Plus 1d6, uh, energy damage. Plus okay. 2 heat. Okay. Dang. See. Not, not burn heat. Yep. Well, so he's got is, a lot of heat on him. So that's 6 yeah. energy. Yeah. Um, does that, does armor still work against that? Uh, energy, yes. It is not piercing. Okay. But the heat, it takes the two heat. Okay, here's my second, um, rifle on that mount. Again, with the fucking shit here. Uh, that is a, uh, ten. Alright. Does a ten hit? A ten will hit. Okay, okay good. That's only a d3. So, one, it probably just takes off the armor. Yeah, completely no damage. How much did the first attack do? Uh, it was uh, six energy, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, six energy. All right. Minus armor. And th then I'm going to also fire my um, soul pattern main laser rifle, which only has one action again. This one. So add it to the roll. Oh, shit. That was not a d6. But 40 would hit, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, my crystal, that's all let, me, let me roll the d6. Yeah, because he might crit if you get lucky. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, so that is that is two RNG plus one uh, burn, and burn ignores armor. All right. Uh, and one more heat for me, and that is my turn. Okay, the heavy arms is gonna go next. I need to know, okay, so like he is now in the table. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do anything unless you said it does it. It only matters if he bypasses his, his cap. Yeah, so he but, is like. It might matter for the ice. Yeah. Yeah, it is. He is now. I need to go ahead and put the. He <laughs> is going to have to deal with the ice if he stays here. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> we should have abolished this long ago. Um, he is, okay, so he's not at his limit yet, but he is dangerously close. If he does not save this, he will be at his limit. Is he still market loaded? Um, uh, yes. So, uh, hold on a second. I, I assume so, was uh, because why? No, it's off? Right the next, target's next turn, they take two heat whenever they attack. Mm -hmm. so, okay, yeah. so it's, it's, yeah, so it's gone? Yep. Okay, so he, oh, not that one. So he is fine. Um, if he takes much more heat, he start sinking. He will sink right through. Ah, sounds, sounds good. He will move because the ice is starting to get a little unstable now. And he is actually going to first attack. He's going to barrage first attack on Bryn and then second attack is going to be um I think Wolf. So Wolf first. That will hit Wolf. And then Bren. Yep. So 13 hit. Good thing I, I, I stabilized. Oh, I forgot to get my um, leadership, my uh, charges up. On my All right. Cannon. I forget. Have I used uh, my protocol this turn? No. I, no, you have not. Okay, so I have that in the bank. Okay, so Wolf's going to take, I believe, the AC. Uh, yes. I got remember, I have armor. I keep forgetting to actually subtract it from the tax. <laughs> what was that? Take? Finally rolls bad. Five and Bruce is gonna take ten. Oh. Hey, you need help with that sure. or you're yeah. Good. Yeah, do it. Alright, at the very least I can help move you. So let's roll the D6. That's a three, so you won't take resistance to damage. You will just move, I believe, up to six spaces it was, right? Yeah, you can teleport up to six spaces. Okay, take my nine damage. 
And I'm going to move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move here. Actually, I'm going to move. Wait, hold on. One, Bye, two, Brent. three, four. I'm going to move here, so I'm on land. Bye, Brynn. <laughs> so I'm I, I just landing a shot. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys are up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I, yeah. Or, I mean, I I've got this like I'm thinking of doing trying to do some cheeky stuff here and messing with Tigranis. Okay, so I could basically just start doing some tech actions against heavy paws and uh, Tigranis. Then get give him a yeah. heavy paws. Get me, yep, get me expo- exactly uh, my thought. Uh, uh, yeah, do oh, yeah, do I'm some gonna... bullshit to them and. I forgot I can do that uh people should be uh getting shredded when i target them all right yeah. so yes do First some bullshit to them i'll try and do some bullshit after you do your bullshit all right slash uh roll or slash roll i cannot type right now 1d20 plus four uh, oh oh whoops Thirteen. Does a thirteen hit his uh, heavy pauses e defense? Oh, definitely. So uh, take two heat, and I'm gonna actually hit him with fragment signal. So he is impaired, slowed, and thanks to uh, one of my uh, frame abilities, shredded. Does that hit his heat cap? Heavy pause. How much heat is it? Uh, just two heat. No, he's one short. But he should be very hot, and now uh, he's not getting a boost, so he's not moving around too good. You gotta, no, pass, yeah. you gotta pass the heat cap to take the... Yeah, he is literally one away. All right, so uh, next, uh, I'm going to say... Hmm, I can't do marker light this turn, because that's a full tech. Um, so I'm actually going to say I will... Uh, do we want to do another uh, impaired and slowed against Tigranes, or do we want to... Uh, yeah, make absolutely. Make Just mess with me. Make his life difficult. Okay, so roll 1d20 plus 4. Does a 21 hit his e-defense? Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> uh, two heats, and uh, yeah, we'll go with fragment signal, so he's also impaired and slowed. He, however, does not take uh, shredded. That's only my uh, first, uh, what do you call it, every turn, lock on. <laughs> Pressure, pushing down All right. on me, I could, pushing hmm. down. <laughs> he wouldn't be shredded then, because you didn't lock on. You yeah, that's tech right. Tech. Oh, that's oh, right, yeah. That's okay. Right. Okay, sorry, I'm, I got confused. Uh, I was mixing it up with uh, marker light, my mistake. Uh, but that being said, it wouldn't uh, start adding to my heat if I were to boost. So I think I'm actually going to boost. You mean over turn? So yeah, I only get the uh, plus one. I'm not in danger zone yet. So I won't need to move. All right. How... <laughs> Two more uh, actions, huh? Or one, uh, one more, more action. One more quick action. Oh, we get a quick action. All right. Do you think marker light would be useful? If you have a pause and get him over his heat cap, he'll become exposed, which takes double damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm going to make a full uh, tech against Tigranes for Marker Light, which is two heat, lock on, and cannot benefit from soft, soft cover. And then I can declare anything against him being a critical hit. So I'm hoping this is also a high roll. 1d20 plus 4. Does a 10 hit his E defense? Fingers crossed. It does. Whew. Okay, so, yes, uh, lock on. Uh, oh, and since that's the first lock on, he's also shredded. <laughs> this man is about to get destroyed. All right, does he have the marker light? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Tigranes, yes. Uh, so that's two heat, lock on and no soft cover, and if anybody hits him, it's going to be a crit. 
Oh man, that that looks juicy. Uh, <laughs> Lyra, it hit him so you can do all the ungodly damage to him. <laughs> Before so, that happens, me, um, I might get so yeah, he's shredded and also exposed, right? Because that uh, put him over. Mm -hmm. No, that yeah. was heavy paws. That was he. Yeah, heavy paws is the one that's what he was. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, it's actually not their turn next. <laughs> um, the private eye has arrived on the scene. Um, <laughs> how close? How far away is he from you? Is he going straight through the enemy? <laughs> God, God. He is going to boost. <laughs> Just four 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 five. Five. What is he? <laughs> Just right in front in front of this dude. Um. He is going to attempt to use his pistol named the Big Sleep. <laughs> um, at um at the Foxfire. <laughs> All right, roll for uh, invisibility. Um, evens miss odds. He gets a chance to hit. Uh, he gets a chance to hit. Uh, All right. Tell uh, me what you got. D twenty. It's gonna be another nineteen. I knew it. Yeah, I fucking awesome. knew it. Wow. I knew it. <laughs> we we know how. Right. Hefner, we what, know how. <laughs> um, wow. it's nine. Nine. All right. Uh, Help. Sorry. <laughs> I. So. Yeah. You've already done your, your reaction thing, right? Uh, Theft. Do you uh, still yeah. have my leadership die? I do have the leadership die. That's where I'm allowed to decrease. Yeah, you can take a d6 off that. The accuracy or the damage? The damage. 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 Additionally, you can also attempt to uh, uh, deflect the range strike. I cannot. I do not actually have a blade master die, so I've used them every time. Uh, I've used them up every time I've gotten them to continue. Okay. Anyway. Yep. Okay. So what's probably going to happen here is. Sylvia is going to, rather than use up my leadership die, I'm going to brace. I don't think I'm overwatching anyway. So we are going to brace. Uh, I'm going to gain resistance to that damage, so I'm only going to take half of it. So I'm going to go down to armor, too, after the resistance. Yeah, uh, so I'm down to, that is, yeah, so I'm down to three hit points. Um... What that is going to let me do, though, is I'm going to get to activate a system. Um, reactive weave. When I brace, I become invisible until the end of my next turn. I hold already up, am. Hold, hold up. I get to move spaces equal to my speed immediately. No, no, no. What I'm saying is is uh, Alice had to roll a CVQ. She already did. She rolled, no, she rolled the Jeff, one d six. I, I heard you. Oh, oh. So I, am, I am going to just immediately zoom up so that Tigranes and this guy are both engaged with me mm -hmm. and that's the end of is that the end of his turn yes all right so beginning of my turn i cannot i have essentially used up an action by bracing mm -hmm. uh so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna go ahead and overcharge uh i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a heat so i am up to one heat and then i am going to use so I'm going to go ahead and I want to do some damage here, but I am going to get structured next turn if Mr. Jazz Noir Bebop keeps hitting me and I do not want to spend turn <laughs> stunned. Is this a is anyone going to be really mad at me if I stabilize here? Or do you think I should just go for it? Uh, hmm. How has this dude moved yet this turn? He has not gone yet. He is impaired. And he's also got a difficulty if he uses any ranged attacks. Uh, because he's right on top of me. Scarlet, you can't overcharge after you brace. You can't overcharge after you? Oh, okay. I did not know that. Alright, well, never mind. I am not overcharging. Yeah, so after uh, brace, you right, either so I... take a quick action or move. Or take, you know, activate or whatever. Well, in that case, I am going to go take a quick action. Uh, Mr. Jazzmore Bebop, I hope you enjoy... Actually, I'm going to ignore Jazzmore Bebop. I'm going to do the... 
slightly metagamey, tactically sound thing, and I'm going to swing at the Tigranis mm -hmm. with my main mount. Mm -hmm. You can flip off the detective while you do it, though. Yeah, so 1d20 plus 3 plus 1d6. There's a very real chance of you do enough here. I, I kind of hope so. Let's find out. One, two, three, hit. And yes, I and crit you shred. Crit. That's <laughs> just on its Absolutely. Uh, yeah, let's let's find out how much damage she takes. Oh my god, I wish he was the one who... Uh, yeah, he's gonna take 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, uh, he's shredded. I will gain a play in after dice. Yeah. He has just a little bit. Um, if he does not... If he, if he is not able to not avoid that, then he, he will die. Um, yeah, and... Let me see, is there anything fun I can do with my Blade Master dice here? Uh, I probably... Do, do, do... Do I want to just knock over this detective so that he's annoyed with me? Um... Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna hold that, because I might need to roll with it, or do other nonsense. Uh, that's my action. As, as you were doing this, he's yelling after you, You're never gonna get away with this, I know you killed the heiress! Sylvia's just going to, like, slam into his band to go like, What heiress? Don't play up with me, Braun, it's the heiress of Chicago! What? Um, I've while he is saying that, in my life. it is their turn. By their, I mean, um, there are two, <laughs> there are two new groups that have, uh, of interlopers that have arrived. Oh no. Why more interlopers? Oh no. Um, the fir the first are actually in, um, uh, they're actually in half size of X, but I didn't want to make them too small so you can see them. Um, they, content Isadora on the Type Beam channel. Uh, with an official boilerplate um, announcement bearing a boundless, like the logo for the uh, boundless guy. Um, it's a lot of technical ease, but what does become very clear is that uh, apparently the Idolith has missed out on a, quite a few um, parking fees. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently at some point, someone put Isadora's name on the... Um, on the official documents on who was in charge of this ship when it died. <laughs> um, they, the meter maids have come to collect. They oh also they also have some beef with Bryn, who forgot to file the proper paperwork to be recognized as, an as a legal corporation within Boundless Space. I, but are we in Boundless Space right now? No, they are not, but that doesn't matter. They're <laughs> the meter maids. What? But I haven't done any business in that space. <laughs> No, it's so true. We, we went on a boundless mission, oh, fuck, and right. we were oh, in boundless okay. space. <laughs> um, finally, another wing arrives. Jesus they Christ! They are a lot more terrifying, and they look like your standard like mercenary company. Um, they also now they also hit everyone with a comm message. Um, they're here for the clanners who have violated basically every law that exists in most civilized space on their way here. Um, anyone who is present is going to be assumed to be part of their um, entourage, and you are all under arrest. Oh and by under God. arrest, they mean they're going to shoot your mechs until you, until you eject, and then they're going to capture you. Um, well. you Bryn, you get a message from the, the pilot of the heavy... Um, so, weird question. How do you feel about, how do you feel about last minute? About what? You cut out there, friend. How do you feel about last minute alliances? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I was going to shoot my giant laser, but I guess I can shoot them instead. <laughs> the heavy paws and the rifle wolf 2 are now friendlies. Um, the en enraged, the enraged cleaner is not. He has his own beef to handle. <laughs> Chagranis is incredibly angry, cursing on all frequencies. Um, 
Wolf he's, was supposed he's not gonna last long anyways. <laughs> Lyra was supposed to die. He was gonna put this whole thing away. How dare you? Um, All right, you need to switch to the next channel and tell that to the next person. And it will actually be his turn as this actual turn. He is going to attempt to attack Lyra with his um let's find this thing. He's going, he is going to attempt to barrage Lyra with his um, rotary AC and also his sort of his alpha strike thing. Um, his rotary AC is not going to hit. His alpha strike is not going to hit. I'm so I'm happy. Going, I'm going to see if he survives. His engine, it's a whole check or an engineer check? Engineer uh, check. Engineer check. Yep. Target 13. He does not. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. That is literally all that he had. Um, his mech just basically ex just like melts. <laughs> and he just sinks beneath the waves, cursing. So he just he sink and then like uh, he shoots out through the water. <laughs> he does. He just he gets just above the water and then lands back into it. <laughs> Honk. Um. Yeah. You have two new groups of enemies that are on the field. The rifle wolf is, and the heavy paws are now your. Oh boy! It is the player's <laughs> turn. Oh god, Coriander! What is Coriander even going to do? <laughs> Coriander, Coriander, a cab. Fuck up this, please. <laughs> uh, so still on the protect Isadora uh mission. Uh, so. Would they have gotten like a signal that heavy paws switched sides? Um, he put it on a frequency that, like, he put it on the frequency, like, where you could all... We all have a little all. HUD, and there's dots on it. His chains from red to green. Like, yeah, he, he basically sent, like, the message, and then a, um, a request to shift his, um, his little IFD to three friendly. Oh, all right, Thousand. yeah, Isadora will just make sure to relay that to Coriander, just to make sure... So now, I believe that means the nearest hostile enemy is Mr. Nor Jazz Bebop, TJ <laughs> Henry Yoshi. <laughs> All right. He is so. very serious. Roll 1d20 plus 1. Uh, he's got nothing against him, so I don't think uh, Coriander has anything else to help. So, yeah, let's just see how this goes. That's a 10. <laughs> That's probably not going to hit him, is it? Um, let me look at this thing, actually. I'm less familiar with this stuff. That's literally, the, that's literally the target number. Okay, go Okay, take six damage. <laughs> All right. All right, and I Oof. think it's also within uh, my tech, right? It should be... Oh, yeah, easily. That's four hexes. Your sensors are kind of right. ten. Okay, so sensors. Uh, as usual, uh, Coriander's just going to try to do a follow-up invade, so let's see how that goes. Roll 1d20 plus 1. 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that is a uh, invade fragment signal, so two heat impaired slowed. Sad boy. <laughs> Did that with a half A press, too. <laughs> yep. Finally, I have the roll goods. Oh, I'm walking here! I'm working! What are you, what are you doing? Protect Isadora. <laughs> Fort Isadora is all but impenetrable. Uh, Cor Coriander's our new mascot. <coughs> um, the meter maids move as a single... I hate them. They are... They are basically like elementals from Battletech. Yes! They were magical girls. Yes! Oh god, they are magical girls. Yeah, if you zoom in, they are magical girls, but they are also mechs. It's very dumb. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy! Okay, good. Yes. Do, do go on. I have an idea. Don't worry. We got this. Um, they are all going to attack the heavy part. This. There's no oh, way it's and there's not the surviving. Um, only ah, one of those hits. Ah, ah. No, only... Oh, okay. All oh. individual. Yeah, only one of those hits. <laughs> they apparently suck. They're just meter maids, you guys. <laughs> um, the Bishoju Laser Archivist, I gave them all dumb names. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun. 
Oh, there's 1d6 plus 2. How much is it going to do? Pew! 3. hope it does heat, <laughs> but it doesn't. Um, sadly, it does not. There is another weapon that gives heat. I really want to hypothesize overheat, and it's just, just so funny. sink. Uh, also, I don't think the planner went. The temperamental planner who wants to kick my butt, he should go. Yeah, it probably should go. I'll, I'll switch to doing um one of the clanners and then one of them cool. to so speed this up a bit. Um, temperamental clanner is going to attempt to hit you. Okay. Um, he hey, has... hey, temperamental clanner. Uh, your your computer's telling you there's a lock on on default. So, can't get lock on yourself. Uh, so I'm not, well, I'm not putting lock on on myself. Uh, but something is. <laughs> that, is that is going to hit. Yep. yep <laughs> okay, it hits. Let's see, 2 to 6 plus 1. Yeah. Nine That's damage. That's going to be 9. Alright, that'll take her into structure, but first let me uh, settle the damage. So 9, she was at 1, so now she's uh, at minus 8 from what she was before, so 27 minus 8. Hold on. That's 19. It's 19. Let me set her back to 19 and then do the structure roll really quick. Uh, but, well, before I do the structure roll, let me do my, my paint. Because I can avoid the paint. Like, I can, you know, I can um, do the custom paint job. Yeah. So let me do that first. There we go. I I, I could spell roll correctly. That would be a thing that I could do. Hey! Uh, it, just wow. it, it just blasts off my paint. Oh my fucking god. I'm upset about... I'm happy and yet upset about this. Like, Alice and This is amazing. Alice, oh, then... <laughs> Alice, you take the structure damage, you're at one hit point. Yeah, your all the other damage just, just goes away. Yep. It doesn't happen. You just yep. fucking scratched your paint. Yep. Dang, what a jerk. I'm just gonna look... I'm just gonna look directly at Alice and Fefner about this roll. <laughs> I know you're. I know it makes sense. You're obviously jobbing. She's just like taking just enough to be make it look real. Mm -hmm. Um, it is now player turn. Uh, uh, is everyone yeah. gone yet? I think that's everybody, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's... yeah, it is. So it is top of the round. Well, I think these guys gotta go still, don't they? The um. The oh yeah, that's right. They do have the to go. The police have to go. Yeah, move them into my range. Make sure that nobody can escape. I think Lyra has to go, doesn't she? I'll do Lyra at the end of the round. Alice, I love you. <laughs> um, the what well, definitely, definitely Leo's from the <laughs> Gunner Wing. Um, one of those gonna attack Bren, one of them's gonna attack the heavy arms, one of them is attacking, um, what's it called? Uh, Lyra. First one's coming for Bren, and that's it. So, first one's coming for Bren, and 12. Does it, yes. does it 12 hit you? Okay. Then for Lyra, that definitely hits. 19, he Jesus. Heavy Arms does hit. Wow. What is their little thing? Their corporate mandated laser time. Oops. Ooh, that's not great. For anybody. So Bryn first. Jesus. Is that 12? Yeah. 26? Yeah. Oh, okay, so I, I, think I, already, so. I think I already used my reaction this turn. I'm too far away from you, aren't I? Uh, does it, does range matter for me? Uh, you did early me earlier, so I, I don't sight. think... No, you did me earlier, so you can't do it again. Yeah, exactly. Five, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd already used it. Six, but yeah, it's line of sight, seven, so as long as eight, I can see nine, you. 10, 11, 12, I take another structure. Oof. Okay. Um, Bryn! <laughs> Bryn, no dying. Uh, five, so... Uh, Lyra's also going to take a structure. Oh, no, it's Jeez. a lower one. That's right. So it's a two. Oh, it's a one. Oh, no. That's bad. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. One structure is direct hit. So how Yeah, much I got to pass a hole check or I get immediately destroyed. Um, re-roll like, re -roll that structure check. Uh, the pressure. I... Now nah, I'm, I'm going to use an ability from the thing that's putting lock on on default to let you re-roll that. Just the 1d6? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, god damn it! How did you still get a 1? Hold on. Can we, can we flavor... I don't can... think I have... I don't have any hole, so... Okay, I'm fine. Okay, I good. passed the hole save. Okay, we're good. Uh, Thank goodness. I'm stunned. <laughs> okay. Oh Lyra has also taken um, some structure damage. She's lost her cannon. 
Oh, oh my god. Um, the heavy arms took a lot. It is it, but it is barely it is barely hanging in there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I, I lose my next turn. Lyra is going to. Lyra is actually. One, two. How much movement does she have? I should only two. Oh no, she's in the. She should have four, I think. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she does. Um, so that will give Bryn cover. Uh, and she's going to attempt to. Bra she's going to basically try to hit one of them. She no longer has her smaller cannon. If you could stabilize it and remove my stun condition, I would really appreciate it. Oh, can she do that? Yeah, you can remove the condition someone near, near you when you stabilize. Um, okay, so she's going to stabilize. Please, I, I want to hit four people with my big cannon. Come on. <laughs> okay, she's... You, she is stabilized in you. Okay, so you also get to do the stuff for yourself. Yeah, she's also got her thing. I marked it accordingly. Thank you, I appreciate uh, it. All just, right, a, that, just a quick question. Which big cannon? I thought your big cannon blew up when you structured the first time. Uh, I, I blew my heavy mount. I still have my energy mount. My oh, energy mount. right, right, right. Oh, your soul cannon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry. And the Tor is, is fine. Top of the round. Can I go first, please? Go ahead. I'd, go like, ahead. I'd like to go after you, please. I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. uh, as a quick act, I'm going to stabilize. Mm -hmm. uh, and... I'm going to <laughs> heal my health again on that one. All right, and as a second quick answer, I'm going to skirmish. I'm going to fire the ZF4 Sodcore main cannon at all four of them. Uh, hold on, I need to be here to do that. So, so uh, I don't think I have any action at these. And the first guy would take a disaffect if I hit him. So, eight. 20, 16, 22. Those will all hit. They all hit. Okay. <laughs> so, Ace pilot. So, the first guy in the line takes two heat and a D6 of energy. So, he takes two energy, and everyone takes a 4D6. And I gotta actually double it for one of them. So. Everyone takes 14, and then the, th no, the third one, instead of 14, take this guy here takes um, 12, 17, 22. So 14, 14, 14, 22 in this one. Okay, so it's 14, 14, 22, and then 22? Uh, no, it's, it's just these four. So it's 14, 22, 14, 14. Okay, this one is gone. <laughs> Jesus. And this is actually 16 right here, because of the two extra energy. And the other ones took how much? 14? Uh, this one took 16, the other two took 14. Uh, yeah, the meter rate, two of the meter rates are gone. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Do it, yes. Here comes the cavalry. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, no. Nice. Nice. I don't know if I want I don't want to do I no, nah, that's a lot of damage a lot of heat if I over if I overcharge again. Uh um uh no I'm done. That's my turn. Okay. Enemy turn. It is the enemy turn. Um and one of the clanners, the rival wolves too as I'm going to say that he's kind of recovered here, because I forgot about it last the last round. One, two, three. Um, he's just, he's going to try to get a shot in on. Um, he's going to try to uh, barrage in on the front neck on the front merc. He is not going to hit with his rifle, but it's reliable, okay. and he's not going to hit with the other one that is not reliable. Oh. And uh, the surviving mercs are going to both attack Bren. 
Uh, I don't. I don't see why they would do that. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You just Gundam winged them. <laughs> I break. It's fine. Uh, oh, does, cool. does a 17 hit you? Yes. <laughs> My evasion is 9. Hi. Uh, no, I just gave a life, so I gotta play of HP. I'm fine. That's a 6. 5 damage. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I forgot the other D6. That's a 12. Okay. Five, 6 more damage. 1, 2, 3. I'm at, uh, um, uh, I'm at two. <laughs> it took you eleven. Nice. Now it's player. Now it's player turn. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go if that's okay. Um, is that yep. okay with yeah. him? Okay, I'm gonna move to here. I've got four. I'm gonna faint so that uh, the guy doesn't get an attack of opportunity against me. No, actually, no. She wants to get hit. Go ahead and take that uh, over Overwatch on her. Uh, if he's up. Oh yeah, he's prone. He can't Overwatch while prone. He is still prone. Okay, so uh, once per scene, the Everest may take a quick action as a free action. I will be using that ability to, uh, when you have a cannon as a quick action, you can fire a jackhammer around from an underslung launcher, automatically doing 10 aim, pay kinetic damage to a size one section or object within range. Uh, cover, oh, no. deployable equipment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, these uh, rangers are on the ice, and now that's a hole, and goodbye. Well, there's this one. I yeah. killed two of them. Yeah, but she, uh, the, the ground underneath her is blown out, and she's just going down into the ice now. Nice. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna give you that. That's great. <laughs> I mean, she's still there. She can still like shoot up through but, the But yeah, but she's sinking. <laughs> she does take two kinetic damage. Right. She does take two kinetic damage from that and gets knocked. But I want the knocked to be knocked down into the water. <laughs> yeah, she is underwater. She is not no water. <laughs> um. And then, like, so that's a, that's a, the free quick action. I have two more actions, but first I want to do the role play with Kovena, and if that's okay, FF. Yep. Yeah. So, um, Kovena has responded incredulously with the word matchmaking, and Default struggles to stay in character because she's so excited because Kovena might know what romantic, like, romance matchmaking is. Wow, Kovena doesn't know what matchmaking is. You'll have to be easy on her chat. She's not from around here. And in her in the in the coded language that they've created, right, that they're sharing, she's asking Kovena, is this a common context? Do you know what romance matchmaking is? And Kovena can't tell if Default's referring to gamer matchmaking, which she knows nothing about, or romance ma matchmaking, which she does know about, because Quinn's muddying the common context so much with her stupid bullshit. Default. I, I know nothing about gaming, but... And so the code here is, I am not a gamer, I can't talk to you, I can't communicate with you using gamer context. You are in real life so she's combat. In, yeah, she's introducing the common context here. <laughs> and, well... I don't know if this line really... Yeah, I mean, she. don't worry, she will be, because like she's really, really damaged. We got this, don't worry. Uh, at this point, we're going to move to narrative combat, like, and the temperamental clanner just, like, blows off that cannon. <laughs> and you sustained a lot of damage. And it's, this is, you're going to get hurt in real life, you dumbass. Uh, but Default, even as the, the, the Atlas cannon is knocked off of her, the Drake cannon is knocked off of her, is just so elated because Kovana knows what romantic matchmaking is. No, I am winning. Because I'm gaming the matchmaking, <laughs> emphasis on the word, system. Yeah, I am going to get hurt in real life because I'm trying to romance you. Just, just <laughs> fucking self-destruct your mech. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, Kovenden's expression contorts because she understood that. Like this... And the, the, the context is you, this is how you think you can romance me. Default, you are really not. This is extremely not romantic. Planners don't obey civil dual culture. And she's just saying you will literally die. <laughs> uh, Default responds, yeah, I know. Um, and she's saying, I know planners don't obey civil dual culture, but I don't care. It's working right, though. You also uh, <laughs> know that they are right now. Yeah. So, like... <laughs> no, this guy isn't. He's expressly not because oh, that, she's insulted him so probably. much. Yeah. 
the, the, the motherfucker. Yeah, but it's working, right? The matchmaking, and she's saying, all I care is that you know that I'm trying to romance you. No! And this is, you are not romancing me, and Coven has no idea how to explain to her in a way that the people spying on them constantly won't understand, and she also doesn't want to give Theofold any tips on how to romance her, so she stresses this. What you are doing is dying. And it's very much just be serious, you are going to get killed. And so, like, in this exchange, uh, Deepal, uh, I'm gonna just, like, take, like, when that guy hits it again, I'm gonna just take the structure damage, and we're gonna see what the dice say. But yeah, Deepal is intentionally losing, and she's already lost her cannon. Um, and she doesn't, like, also, like, how hurt does this dude look, uh, Alice? Like, how bad is this, what, what bad shape is this mech in right now? Um, he's actually doing awesome. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not good. Okay, so she actually has to unload on this guy. So we're gonna do that. Um so I'm going to begin by firing at um firing at him with my cannon. So that's gonna be a a, a one roll one D twenty plus three. And then I'm gonna roll the one D six accuracy. You just need a one. Yeah, so there we go. Yep. And that'll be one D six plus one. I think it's one D six right plus one, right? Let me check the, uh, check the cannon. It's 1d6 plus two. Okay, sorry. All right, so he takes eight damage, and the cannon pushes me forward, as it do, <laughs> which will allow Default to punch him with her big he is, fist. He is the, he actually, that is actually, I made it with structure damage for, for this. He actually will take structure damage. Okay. So go ahead and roll that structure. Uh, the... Yeah. Was it three? So, so how this goes narratively is like she shoots him with the cannon. He blows the cannon off of her, and then he. But then like he takes the structure damage. It looks like he's fine from that six. I think. No, they did a three, so I um. Uh, lose the amount. Yeah, so a six, you lose a system. Yeah. So it looks like he's gonna lose a system of some sort. Um, he loses, he's actually going to lose his, um, he has a, he actually has auto loader drone mm -hmm. for his, uh, thing, the, for his big fuck off shotgun, so he's actually going to lose. Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead and make your second attack. Yeah, so now she's going to swing at him. I get a uh, plus one accuracy from the Everest uh, ability that I have, and I also get plus one accuracy from Duelist because this is my first uh, melee attack in the round. So this is going to be plus three and then plus two d6. Plus the higher of the two yep. d6. Yep, plus the higher of the two d6. So that's a uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll do it. All right, so this is going to hit for, uh, it is two d6 plus two. Woo! Let's do it. So he takes seven damage from the big fist. He's doing a lot worse. Yeah, and now um, I'm going to overcharge. Because I need to get him bad enough that we can end this the way it's supposed to, right? <laughs> um, so I'm going to hit my overcharge, do the one overcharge, and it's just a 1d3 heat that I'll be taking, and she's uh, already... Is it your, is your first one? Yeah, this is my first overcharge. It's one heat. Okay, okay so she just takes one heat. So I'm at two heat now from this, uh, which is not good <laughs> for an Everest, but... And she'll hit him again with her big fist. Again, um, this is going to be a 1d20 plus 3 plus 1d6... From the uh, Everest ability. Uh, come on. You can do it. Dice. Uh, that'll be an 18. 18. Um, so we'll just uh, hit him with a 2d6. Uh, plus 2. So he takes 6 damage from the big fist. Yeah. And that'll be the, uh, the, the end of my turn. Uh, they right. they just like keep exchanging blows and like shredding into each other and Default's mech is just like getting wrecked and his mech is equally getting wrecked. I'm actually the most wrecked right now. Hope you are still up. Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> I don't think I'm hit at all. Nope. <laughs> That's by design. All right, enemy turn. <laughs> all right, the enemy and they will go. The detective is going to try and retreat, 
because this is a war zone that he did not sign up. I believe that's going to take, uh, that's going to trigger Overwatch. Mm-hmm. You're damn right it is. Uh, <laughs> me yeah, leave gonna... No. <laughs> Sylvia's overwatching him with her chain axe. All right. And she does get accuracy on this because it is actually her first attack with this main 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 melee main melee mount. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, does an eighteen hit? Eighteen does hit. You know that's a seventeen. That's a seventeen. I also, wanna, hits. I kind of want to see. I'm going to expend the leadership that an ace. Trying to make that a crit, but I never actually did. Mm-hmm. I'm going to expend it to see if I can turn this into a crit. Yes, you I can. can. 41. Nice. So, uh, yeah, this boy is gonna get shredded before taking this attack. And 2d6. Yeah, nice. that'll be... Oh, wait, no, it's a crit. I get to roll yep. two more. Roll two more. Nice. So, oh, ten, ten, damage. 10 damage. You're, you will overkill him by one. Nice. <laughs> get out of here. Get the, out. Uh, his, his case is ended, as is his watch. <laughs> He was just gonna wait for him to eject and like step over him, just go like, Law. so, and like have her neck lean down. So, do you want to have a conversation with me? Uh, he will cower. Um, yeah. while that is happening, two other things happen. First, the heavy boss is actually going to do something. Investigation failure. <laughs> the heavy pause is going to attempt to block the way. Uh-huh. Um, and it's going to fire into them. Um, and the, just in the sight of default, um, there is one more person. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. What is going on here? <laughs> default, you get a very, you get a very message from someone who is breathing yeah. way too heavily into their mic. Mm-hmm. Um, like me, I assume. Mm-hmm. Um, introducing themselves as Vosh, Desti- Vosh Ninja, the Destiny Twitching, um, <laughs> who claims to be the greatest streamer ever. He's extremely mad that you never got back to him, but <laughs> and he's here to kick your ass. Uh, great. Jesus, I love it. This Fucking is so intercom. good. Go away. Yeah, he's, don't, don't the we'll adults just announce. are busy. The adults are busy. <laughs> the heavy pause is going to try to hit. One of the I love this. Things. Uh, six is not going to do it. <laughs> hey, Alice. So you're right. Yeah, the, that was not going to do uh, it. Attacker. <laughs> yeah, neither. Yeah, the heavy boss is trying to do a. It has a melee weapon. Okay, melee guy. Uh, but neither of those are going to work. Nope. Yeah, um, one. nope. Mr. Voss Destiny, Voss Ninja, the Destiny Twitching has will not go. Um, it is player move. All right. Uh, I guess me then, huh? Yep. It's a duck here to him. Kaylee's a die. Do it, do it. This is nerd over here. Yes. All right, sure. Uh, let me just make sure. He's probably in range, right? Yeah, seven hexes. That's no problem. Yes, he's on nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can do the knock the ground out from underneath the thing every turn. So, <laughs> if Isadora doesn't take care of him, I will. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to kill him. I, I don't have kill ability, so... Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that as a quick action, I'm going to lock on. Uh, that's the first lock on of the turn, so he's going to be shredded. And let's see. When I hit with a tech attack that consumes lock on, your target must choose to either take two heat or be pushed three spaces. I think I'm going to do that if this hits. So roll one You D- can use this on the least die on your hex. Yep, yep, yep. It just, did I say tax? The accuracy on things fall in my direction. All right. Roll 1d20 plus 4. That's a 14. Does that hit his E defense? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, he's garbage, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. His uh, E defense is 4. <laughs> I, I was right, hoping yeah, you'd so, do that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hit him with. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It, it's either strike code or fragment signal. Uh, I don't really want him moving around because fuck this guy. Actually, he's garbage. So if I hit him with um, strike code, that's two heat whenever he attacks. So I just want him to blow up himself. So uh, let's see. 
<laughs> so, uh, yes, that, will, it. that of course will be two heat whenever he attacks. However, he's going to take two heat just for getting hit by this. And also, when I hit attack that consumes lock on, your target must choose to either take two heat or be pushed three spaces in the direction of your choice. I'm going to say that consumes the lock on because we don't really need it, it seems. I recommend pushing him deeper into the ice for me. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I get to choose if he moves. Uh, yeah, your target must choose to either take two heat. So will you take heat or move? Um, excuse you. He is he is a streamer going his own way. He will not be. <laughs> you said he won't be moved? No. Okay, okay take, so that's just take the heat. Yeah, yet. so he's hot. <laughs> well, he's not the right kind of hot, though. <laughs> and he's glowing. All right, well... I would overcharge, except I have a very low heat capacity, so if I rolled a three, I would actually just lose a reactor. So I'm going to play it safe, especially since I'm on ice right now. So Yeah, probably wise. Yeah, uh, let's see. I keep invisibility because I haven't moved, uh, haven't taken reactions, so I think that's going to be my turn. All right, it is enemy turn. Um, he is going... He does have... His mech is shit, his piloting is bad, but he does have a very good gun. Does he get to hit you with it? Who, me? Me? Um, yes. Yeah, well, roll and see. Let's see what happens. This weapon is unwieldy. No, he does not. Three, <laughs> does, a, does a two hit you? No. But, who, um, but, then I'm, that's but, his, but a natural that's 20. That's literally his only weapon. Okay, but you did then roll a natural 20 after that. Um, yeah, it was an accident. There's only one attack. Uh, what if we... takes two heat, does that matter? He takes two heat. Yep. It does indeed. He is, that is his capacity. <laughs> uh, no, 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 he, he is not overheated then. He has one more. He is not overheated. If he takes literally anything... Oh my god, please do anything. <laughs> Fucking overcharge, please. Um, you know what? Heavy you should, balls are, tr are trying to hit... Idiot, you? Sorry, the, you um... have to victory. <laughs> you know what, uh, Alice? Uh, Default's gonna open up comms and jeer and tease him and bait him into overcharging so he eats himself, <laughs> melts himself down. He I... will attempt to do so. You take <laughs> one heat then. Yeah. <laughs> and... So he, be he becomes exposed. <laughs> he does not, he does not, he does not yeah. melt down like we do. Yeah, he becomes exposed. His mech just opens because it has to vent. Mm -hmm. He becomes exposed. And, um, he does also, get another attack, yeah. Or does he has a, one quick action that he can use however he wants. He has not moved, so he is going to attempt to hit you. Mm -hmm. Literal ninja sword. Mm -hmm. I love it. Go ahead. He and take, is a literal ninja. Go ahead and take that roll, but you have one difficulty on it. <laughs> <laughs> so no. Oh <laughs> rolls a zero. It just like completely oh. misses. But he still takes two heat from that. He still takes two heat from that? <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore, but take two heat. I'm just, I'm just loving the idea that, like, he swings this, like, samurai sword. Boink. And he just, like, boinks off of me if that's all. He's just like... He has posted like, cringe and will lose his crime. I'm actually going to adjust the number of people watching his stream. <laughs> He, he actually manages to, like, hit the paint and bounce off of that. Because the people remaining. leave his stream and, and move to... Uh, yeah, they, they come and watch my stream instead. <laughs> but it's okay. He's still sponsored by the Space Corps. He takes more damage. Mm -hmm. uh, player turn. Okay. Uh, has everybody except Corian uh, moved? I actually haven't moved. Uh, my oh, only okay, action yeah, this, yeah. this round was a reaction. So yep. I can move. Get him. And yeah. I am going to do that. So let's see. One. The fastest way I can do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, boys. <laughs> All right. Let's do a barrage. So <laughs> we're going to lead that off with. You know what? There's a chance that I could actually get to it once here. I'm actually going to leave this off with the nanocarbon sword. Uh, so let's see if I hit with that. Come on. Does an eight hit? Eight does not hit. Aww. All right. Bummer. 
I, uh, uh, I might have to I might have to overcharge this turn. Uh, we will go ahead and follow up with Chain Axe. Mm -hmm. uh, I do not actually get the bonus accuracy this time, sadly. Oh, did you use your accuracy for the other one? Uh, I I did. I I used it to make a crit so I could blow him up in one attack I don't, on the Overwatch. I don't think the press is uh, can... eleven. Yeah. Does an 11 hit with the chain axe? Yes, it does. Okay. okay. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. This guy right here, he takes three damage. The nanocarbon sword does have reliable three. Okay. That is relevant. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, things that are happening. So, let's go ahead and roll damage. It's only 1d6 because I've already used the overpower caliber this round. He's only going to take three damage from the chain axe, but that is going to give me a blade master dice, which I am immediately going to consume to ram him. Does a crit knock this boy over? Uh, yes. I'm going to say that unless anyone has objections, I'm probably thinking that a crit is going to knock my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I feel like that's probably appropriate. Uh, knock him so... in the other guy and blow him up. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to overcharge, and I believe. Do you get accuracy to attacking a probe? Um, yes, I you think do. You do. Yeah. I think they get difficulty. Hold on no, a second. No, no, you get. You get. You. Uh, Tim's throwing it down. It looks like you get accuracy. Thank you for the for the cheat sheet. Hey, thanks, Tim. Yeah, attack against to receive one accuracy. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay, this is wonderful. So, overcharge, skirmish again, nanocarbon sword on the guy in front. So, plus 1d6. Let's see if that... I was going to say that hit. Yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, yeah, that'll be nine damage. Is he alive? Is it only nine? Uh, it's only nine off of that. You didn't roll your damage for the 22 you rolled earlier. Which, what 22? The 22 oh, above the that was, that was the Oh, okay, ram. okay, never, never, never mind. Okay, yeah. sorry. So he, is, he is alive at one. So I actually cannot kill him. I might be able to kill his buddy. Uh, uh, I'm going to proc Executioner. So I get an attack. Let me make sure I can do what I want to do here. So talent actually works the way. Yep, same weapon as a free action within threat and line of sight. His buddy's down. He's in line of sight. So what does that do to him? Uh, so the guy in the back, I get to make another attack on him with the same weapon, and it deals half damage if successful. All right, do it. And it's still accurate, because he's also prone. Yep, does a 17 hit? That'll definitely hit. All right, so it's half of whatever I roll. So, half of eight That's four. four. That four is literally all he has left. <laughs> I, I was so close to getting the double kill. And the man in the Wait, back said, uh, Ow. So, Sylvia, doesn't Executioner do half damage to the other person? Uh, no. no, it does It does half damage to the second per target. So, half damage on the guy in back was enough to uh, take okay, him out okay, okay, and, okay. and his turn blowing up everyone in a line. I have, it I is... I have no supernatural way to boost that damage, so I can't have, like, I can't allow you to do that little bit of whatever. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Fine, Coriander will take care of it. Mm -hmm. Coriander, is enemy... Coriander is allowed to get one kill. <laughs> is the enemy turn, um, the brawler is going to try one more time to attack the other. Go ahead. And the last mercenary is going to attempt to, so, yeah. brawler's going to try to attack the default again. Okay, go ahead. Didn't the mercenaries already go this round? Oh, yeah, you're right, they did go this round. Aha! Uh -huh. He doesn't need to move, he does have to take an attack of opportunity. Because he started a movement in he, the he is, range. He is... I will not actually, because I've already... Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, he's also... He, he, he's also he, still... didn't need, he didn't need to move, though. Yeah, that's right, he didn't need to move. He's also still... He... He's still prone, which would provoke... Oh, that's right, yeah. Would, yeah. would provoke an overwatch, but default doesn't take it. And just, it's like, scare, stares contemptuously, contemptuously down at him. She, she, standing up prone does not provoke. Yeah, it does. Uh, standing up from prone, uh, standing yeah. from prone does provoke Overwatch. It does. Yeah, okay. I believe it does. Yeah. But she does. She she explicitly doesn't do it. Like she and she, like she stares contemptuously down at him and lets him stand up. <laughs> right. I'm assuming that a six does not hit. You. Yeah, six does not hit her. He is going to try and use 
his shotgun. Okay. A five. I'm assuming that a two does not hit you. No, but but I'm going to let it hit me. Go ahead and do the damage. All right. You very obviously get in front of it. Yep. As he misses. Yep. That's 11 damage. Okay, that'll... Uh, let's do a structure test really quick. Well, actually, let's do paint real quick. Yeah, no, paint didn't work. Once. You only oh, get paint oh, once. Well, so the structure is three. What does three... What does a three result do? Uh, three, I believe, is a thing gets destroyed, right? <sighs> yep. Yeah. System trauma. So roll another d6. Is this your okay. first or your second structure? This is you? technically my... This is technically my first, though I narratively... Okay, yeah, I narratively gave myself some... I already gave myself something. So what's the... A three and then another three. Uh, three is weapon mount. Yeah. All right, so what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to, like, do a trade. So, like, he basically blows off Diafold's small fist, not the big fist, the small fist. He blows off her arm. So, yeah, she's lost her cannon, she's lost her arm. And that was 11. Uh, so that, I was at 1, so uh, 1 minus, uh, 27 minus 10 is 17, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm at 17 now. There we go. Where is structure? Right, drop, drop one structure. There we go. Get out of here. It is now. It is now player turn. Uh, it's a new round. Coriander. Uh, Coriander, Coriander goes. goes. Yep. All right. Let's see if he can take out that mech over there. As long as he hits, he's good. And actually, I think he's got reliable. So even if he misses, we're good. All right. Slow. So roll one d twenty plus one. Hey, one. Yeah, one. All right, 1d20 plus 1, 19 hits. Yeah, you're going to kill him no matter what. I'm curious about how much you kill him. <laughs> yeah, so basically, Coriander just scans the area. The closest uh, target, of course, is this guy over here. So he turns to one of the, the, the uh, mercenaries and fires. Hey, Jeff, don't forget to add Coriander to the kill list. I don't know if we've actually been keeping that updated. I haven't been track. Uh, I immediately forgot. He's gotten two. Yeah. He's gotten think, two. So disrespectful. That's so good. So, yeah, like, as the Foxfire is just tearing the two mechs apart, uh, just the first one tries to stand up uh, during the flurry of blows and just gets a shot right through whatever vital system it needs to stay up and just drops back down. I guess through the leg. Just leg shot that guy. It is the top of the round. Well, actually, he gets... Oh, no, he's another one? All right. <laughs> so, Coriander initially says, all threats de defeated. <laughs> and then the door is just like, the kid over there is giving me a headache and just marks this one over <laughs> here. Please remove him. So, gonna go for a tech attack on the streamer. So that's 1d20 plus 1. Get out of here, ninja. <laughs> please, please kill him. That's two heat and impaired and slowed. Again, he gets those back. And I don't think they lose um, exposed until they actively do something about it, yeah, right? Yeah, you have to, like, do a... You have to do an engineering check, like, as an action, a full action to get rid of that. God, can just a fucking rollover of heat do anything? I think, you know, if they hit the heat cap a second time, they just blow up. If they're already exposed. Yeah, I do believe that is probably how it works, but you can... I think Tim's wrote that down, but make sure. Uh, it's relevant because if he gets two more, that would be... I mean... If he's getting two more this turn, then that would be enough for him to explode. Oh my god. He is getting two more this yes, turn, yes, just so you yes, know. Um, yes. But yeah. Then if that's how it works, he will explode. Yeah, I will let it happen, because I'm just going to hack him and do the two heat to him as well on my turn. <laughs> oh god. No longer sponsored. Yeah. Already <laughs> on fire mech is just shooting out so much heat that the exhaust is now super hot and the mech super hot and it just begins melting as it also melts the ice yeah so Diafo will hack him um he heat him up and he'll just melt down and then we'll have to finish that conversation with uh Co Cobanon really quick Fep. so uh where were we uh, uh new round yeah, yeah new round yeah, so, the round. so last, I have a question yeah go ahead uh, now that the the cops have been taken care of, um, 
what what is the 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 status of this this temporary alliance? They're still on your side. The, this is bullshit, and it ruined the whole thing. So it's all called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sylvia is actually going to, um, as a free action here, just like send her mech in for like a fist bump with the uh, heavy paws standing beside her. Uh, he will return that, and also his mech will let out a big awoo. <laughs> yeah, next to you. I'm next to you. And then the cops aren't here to, to find them the $500 for a wooing in the no wooing zone. I mean, it's fine. We would beat them anyway. It's staying in the. Uh, I guess there's let Jenna go because the yeah, only yeah. thing left is that. Yeah, yeah. the only thing left is this fight. So, narr so narratively, uh, the last thing that was happened is uh, Covenant told Default that she was dying. So Default uh, checks the stream chat, which has been losing its shit this entire time, and then responds to Covenant. Mm, well, actually, Covenant appears that this is called jobbing. Uh, that's when someone is just here to lose on purpose, and she's basically saying, you know, I am taking this seriously. Default. Uh, just like the emphasis, right? <laughs> Real life is not a game. Please surrender to the clanner. Which is, you are risking your life stupidly. Stop risking your life stupidly. And again, the clanner's just like shredding into her and is blown off like all these parts and is like just coring holes into her mech. As Default responds, matchmaking isn't a game, Koba. It's serious business. Which is her saying, this is not a game to me. I'm serious about you. This is a display of how serious I am. Oh, my God, this child. <laughs> yeah. If you die, we cannot continue our business. Which is, if you can't romance me if you're dead, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to win? And this is so you're convinced? want you to live just no i'm not please stop dying <laughs> just won't get through to your and she struggles target audience this is not the way to romance me and at that moment default breaks character and quinn says oh like oh <laughs> and then she just blows this guy up she just punches him over and over and over again and his neck just goes like he just pops out uh, like his his ejection seat hits and like she just crumples his mech in with multiple fish strikes, right? And immediately realizes that she broke character and gets quickly back into character and looks into the webcam and grins. Sorry about that, fans. That was a close one. And this is code. I'm sorry, Coven, and I didn't know. Gotta keep you on your toes sometimes, which is just the persona hanging hamming it up to the fans. Um, it's actually a default breaking camera on stream that gets through to Coven and. But she's not happy about that getting through to her. I have to get back to work now. Which is, I'm going. <laughs> Covan and signing off. And she does. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <mean> bye. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and um, the Final Fantasy uh, X2 Victory fanfare plays automatically from her mech because Isadora still hasn't disabled that. <laughs> so, that being the last hostile, uh, default. Narratively, there is one last thing that's going to happen. Well, Default says piss, right? <laughs> so as soon as Sylvia sees that last mech fall from her position, and as soon as she can, she whirls around, zooms the Foxfire over, and just rams Default. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the stream captures, uh. the streams captures this. <laughs> you hit her. <laughs> This happens on camera. Default like like makes a startled reaction, but manages to stay. Sorry, uh, Alice, I can hear you in the, in the other room, but the the mic's not picking you up. You're muted. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. The end okay. of that encounter. Default has one structure left. Like her her the fisticuffs is barely holding it together as as Sylvia crashes into the fisticuffs. So in ahead, the Alice. after in the immediate aftermath of this, um, the equators regroup. There are only two of them left. Uh, the Heavy Falls was going to be the original captain before Degrani took over. Him ranting about how he wants to murder Lyra to, to clear his family name kind of convinced a lot of people who were watching uh, the whole thing as a matter of sport. Um, so he has a trial waiting for him back home. <laughs> um, Lyra insists on doing it the on, on on finishing her, which they let her do out of a mech. In the snow, while anyone who stays behind gets to watch as like she fist fight. 
Yes, she has to complete an entire. No, like, no, no! Do it on top oh, of her mech, battery. just like do it on the top of her mech, just like in Metal Gear. Yeah, like straight up on top of the mech in the snow, <laughs> a whole like fist fight, and then a bunch of like different contests with the pilots who came down. Um, God, but Isadora is just in her mech, kind of face palming, but also sending like one of those virtual hug pictures to Coriander, <laughs> who just responds with question marks. Yeah. They, uh they will leave you alone. The cleaners actually like it down here. Um, they will hang out for the rest of the month, like basically doing pit fights for local for local population. Nice. Um, Lyra does win through her challenge, um, and they offer her a place. They offer her a way to. Go they offer her a place in um, to restart her sept, and she turns them down at least for now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Diafel ends her stream like as, just after Sylvia crashes into her because she's afraid that Sylvia's gonna like break her cover, right? But she just like quickly flashes like a peace sign and ends her stream it's the moment Sylvia collides with her. <laughs> Sylvia, so, so what Sylvia is going to do is having knocked this thing prone, she's actually going to dismount her mech, jockey. Um, um, I can't be knocked prone by mechs smaller than me because of my formium frame. I am frame. not smaller than you. I count as the same size for random. Oh, good. You knock her prone. <laughs> One up. Yep. So, yeah, Sylvia is going to jockey the cockpit open and just look down and just pull the default out and go, like, and hug her. And go, like... <laughs> Defense. One stray live round, and you could have been actually dead. If you ever do anything like that again, I will kill you myself. <laughs> the, like crying. the pressure is gone, by the way. That weird supernatural pressure that you were feeling this entire combat just left the moment Sylvia hugged Diafold. Can I make a check about that? Go ahead! <laughs> uh, I will use empathy, which I have recently uh, improved. Acquired. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. 19. 19. There, what do I understand about this? There's, what do you understand? There's something, something here that you can't see, but there's something here influencing the outcome of these battles. Huh. But it's gone now. Like, you can't sense it now, right? Like, you get a pickup on it. And then it just, like, the second you get that sense, there's something here. It's gone. And the pressure leaves with it. <laughs> Suspicious. So, yeah. Default hugs you back. She's a little shaken up. Um, she's, like, she won, right? Like, not just the fight, but the, the wank matchmaking. Right, so she's happy. <laughs> um, and that'll, like, once y'all, like, basically get back up on the flavor town, uh, Default just, like, has a drink and eats some food with Sylvia, and she's, like, laughing and enjoying herself. But then, like, she gets an urgent call at her room. So she, you know, gives Sylvia another hug, right? And she rushes off to, to that urgent call. Right? Uh, to receive it. Um, and what it is, is Svava there. So Quinn settles in and says, hey, Sva, and Svava interrupts her immediately. Hey, I've got some fucking common text for you, kid. You may be a pro gamer, but you're not a pro romancer. You're fucking puppy at romance. Knock it off! <laughs> and Quinn's like, D I, what? Do you have some advice? And Svava calms down, right? Her fur is like bristled, right? She's a poofy, poofy rat. And she rubs at her face and she's exhausted. Kid, I may be playing matchmaker, but I ain't a matchmaker. I especially ain't a matchmaker when you're fucking up. How about as a little experiment, you learn what she actually likes instead of making assumptions. And then if it's stuff you also like that's authentic, because authentic is what she likes, you do that. And Isn't that literally what Bryn said <laughs> yep, to her last it is, time? It is literally what Bryn said to her last time. <laughs> but Svava doesn't know that, right? But Quinn does know that, so her face double falls, right? Like, I've heard this before. <laughs> How am I going to learn what she likes if she won't even tell me? And Svava responds, right now, your situation is just, isn't just complicated by won't. 
which isn't completely your doing, by the way. She's got some shit to work through, which you're not helping with, but also can't. Because of that constant surveillance, talk to her normally about stuff you like. Find common interests and don't code cheeky shit into it. Be real with her about harmless shit. Me, Leora, can't gain much or do much with the knowledge of, I don't know, as an example, what Covana's favorite fucking color is. And Quinn responds gently, I I think you're a perfectly adequate matchmaker. <laughs> and Betris licks him up and is like, brr, like goes on end again. And she's like, maybe, but you're still a scrub at romance. And if you fuck this up and she wants nothing to do with you, I'm not matchmaking you anymore. <laughs> You are on thin fucking ice. She's got trauma, kid, around people dying. What the fuck is wrong with you? And you gotta, you gotta sorry. back off the mic when you yell. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> default face palms, right? Like, ah, oh, fuck. And Spava's like, yeah, ah, oh, fuck. Look, next, she makes air quotes, deliverance, mission. They're gonna want you all to help them with some image rehab since Bryn's been running your operation excellently and really making a name for y'all. So uh, through a close covenant of hers, I'm gonna convince our benevolent shepherd to hire the hex girls to partake in a training exercise. And some of, of Covenant's original crew are gonna be there. They'll teach you about their ways of romance and communication. Now, listen close and listen good. Covenant's people, kid, if you're shy, there's like less than a hundred of them left in the galaxy. And I am introducing you to three of them. You have one chance at this. Do not fuck this up. Got me? And Quinn responds, I I got you. Thank you, Svava. About the Ashai, I've never heard of them. And Svava says, yeah, you ain't gonna either. Not even you are gonna be able to get information on them. Deliverance didn't get to Dinhark in time, and they were almost completely wiped out. And even after we liberated Dinhark, and Deliverance did its thing to the scumbags, we couldn't get the Ashai's land back because it's been seized by Deliverance, and they built a fucking military base on it. And me, Laura, won't give it back. Fucking colonizing bitch. I'm at an impasse. One of my many goals, kids, is either find them a way to get them their land back on Dinhark or find them someplace new. Right to start fresh and rebuild without the constant threat of looming fascism? And <laughs> Quinn says, does Kovana know about this? And Swaba glowers, no, but only because I don't know how she'd take it. She ain't a fan of being saved or rescued, kid. Bear that in mind with the shit you say to her going forward. Kovana's one of those self-saving types of princesses, so she ain't a damn princess. I, I understand. Good. People make mistakes, kid. And just because it wasn't intentional doesn't mean she wasn't hurt. So intent ain't magic. So please, course correct, all right? Stop insulting her, stop hurting her, stop miscommunicating, just try. Just be you, kid, because that's who you want her to like anyway. Don't do your usual bullshit of shaping your image into what you think she wants to consume. It's unsustainable, it won't work, and neither of you will be happy. If she's only liking you when you're not being yourself, it ain't you she likes. And Diafel says, gotcha, thank you for understanding. Swava, I wanna help with the SI. And Swava's like, we'll talk about this later, but Fine, how? But message me later. And she just signs off, and we'll do that quick conversation in a pilot log, because I don't want to take any more time. But yeah. <laughs> so, and then Diafold, like, falls back, and that'll be the end of that quick role-play scene between Sababa and Diafold. But yeah, so that'll be the next Deliverance mission, <laughs> which I've already told you all about. Any more closing moments before we end the stream? We're a little over time, sorry. Uh, Isadora is back in her room with a mug of cocoa. <laughs> And uh, she has a prompt with Coriander up on her computer. And she says, All right, well, you did excellent out there today. So, hmm, let me think what else to do. Well, I've got an idea. Today, I'm going to tell you about the Turing test. <laughs> And also, she's going to bring up one of the oh. fucking uh, captures with the pictures on it. I'm the I'm not a robot. I uh, yes. <laughs> Today, Coriander will learn how to recognize spikes and images. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I sort of that that gif going around of like the image of fine it's like fine street lights where one corner of the top box is like just an edge of the street light in it and the person's like fuck <laughs> it's so good <laughs> anybody else have any closing closing uh, things 
Nope. All right, and I guess we're done for this session. I'm sorry I got a little loud there. I roleplay a little bit too hard. I'll keep working on it, but we're good for the night. Goodbye.